Hello. Hello, dorks. Uh, it's time for Mordor Fortress. Hooray. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. That's that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm, I don't even remember what we're doing, so it's gonna take me a second to re... Refigure myself? There's a high wood. They're sitting in the middle. We should chop that down. But it's not even on top of a... We're definitely chopping that down. Anyway. Um, at the end of last stream, I guess the thing we've been dealing with most recently is just... Everyone dying. Uh, two agitated creatures. You can see... <laughs> oh, look at all this junk. Ugh. Some of these are traitors, some of these are visitors. This is um, a random necromancer that just raised a bunch of corpses and caused a ruckus for literally no reason. So that was cool. It looks like I think we're taken care of. We should unforbid all this junk because they're all going to come out and try to put it somewhere. Jeez, there are just bodies everywhere, aren't there? I have left a mess for myself. Just a glove? Okay. Um, the main thing... You still have a kill order. Is there still a thing to kill? No, there's still some undead wolfman heads. Oh, but they're in cages. Okay. Well, that's good. That'll be fun to take care of. Uncaged undead. Merchant caged. Should probably fix that. <laughs> um, okay, we have a cave swallow, cave crocodile, and a owl. So that's probably the one they have a kill order on. Uh, and we actually we have five people in both our squads. That's cool. I was We were having trouble with our um Are people picking up bolts? And they... They should be able to figure it out. <laughs> we'll see if they actually do. Um, what do you actually have? You have nothing. You have nothing. But it makes it sound... It makes it look like you have some bolts assigned to you. So maybe that's what's going on. Um, I've heard some people having to basically resort to, uh, you have to create the uniform before you create the squad that it's assigned to, and I've heard that fixes some issues, jeez, with, um, well that didn't take long. W were you one of my, no, you were just up here. Well, here's... A recruit who has nothing but a shield. Great. <laughs> should, should have. Uh... Here, let's let's turn on our alert again real quick. Keep everyone inside for just a second while we try to deal with this owl. Come on, please help. Please help. There we go. Thank you. We're a human, even. Silver morning star. Thank you. So then we can turn off our alert, because in theory we're fine now. Everything's caged or in the caves. Okay. Now please, everyone just take out the trash, since there's so freaking much of it. We're gonna have to all... Oh, did we just lose? No, who... who was that? Losing track of all the people who are dying. Okay. It's a corpse we just now found. Okay. Uh, merchants will be leaving soon. Did I trade with you? Did you even make it into... <coughs> I don't think they ever made it into the trade depot. I think they were attacked by zombies before that even happened. So, that's cool. 
Everything's fine in here. Everything's fine in here. We're growing. We're growing blueberries. Perfect. We need to deal with our whip vines so we can actually get more seeds. That's a thing. Um, oh look, another Sasquatch. Are you just... Are you... Stop... If the Sasquatch is running, just let it run. You don't need to be chasing down a Sasquatch. If you die because you couldn't leave it alone, who's losing teeth here? Is this... That is a Sasquatch tooth. <laughs> Sensory nerve damage. You are... You got an infected arm. Well... Sasquatch is going to just get beaten to death. Maybe. Is it unconscious? Okay. Well, at least leave it alone. Bayberry, bayberry. Look, all these bayberry trees. Perfect. What are you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect. It did die. Wow. That dwarf just punched a Sasquatch to death. That's... Good, I guess. Okay, we have things to work on, but I want to make sure that things get cleaned up a little bit out here before I get too engrossed in something. I'm assuming oh, they all have jobs. We have we're making ash. And that, yeah, we're gonna have to making ballista ammo is gonna be a whole thing. Um, one thing that I do want to do I want to do this. I want to place some ballistas up here. I want them to be pointing in here so that we can we can shoot things as they snake through this little withdrawals from society. And look, another Sasquatch. This is just gonna be our eternal fate at this point. And oh no, that's a that's a strange mood, a leather strange mood. Okay, how about it? I guess. Um, and then all of our blocks of jeez, is our block stockpile too big now? No. Or yeah, okay. So this is for our, our rock blocks. We can fit more stuff. Okay. And that's all essentially fine. Was oh, this our marble? Our jet stockpile. Oh, we need some more jet. We have more jet. Okay. So things are just... <laughs> things are getting slowed down because there's too much stuff to move around. That's fine. Um... I'm thinking... Clearly there's some more jet in here, but I think instead of just straight quarrying it out, I'm going to dig some more tomb stuff, because that'll dig out like 80% of it and leave us with functional rooms afterwards. Um, so we'll do that instead of just clear cutting everything in here. Yeah, that'll work. I'll give some more jet. And more tomb space. Those are both important. Cool. And after that, we'll probably have to find some more. Oh, and we... There's some more... Spaces here. We have... Wasn't there like a... We have an artifact one somewhere. Did that already get placed? It was made out of wood, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll just do furniture. Burial. Look at that. And that'll be fine. Of course, I missed a side.
There's a couple other things in general that we're missing in our fortress uh, that I've been thinking about, like a library and some guild halls and some churches and stuff like that. We haven't done any of that. We should probably get like a, a general purpose church going. That'll make some people a little happier. No one's in combat, right? Interrupted by Sasquatch. In here? Is there a Sasquatch in here? Please don't let the Sasquatches indoors. Llama starving. Oh, did we get a another llama from a migrant wave? The goat skeleton. Uh, stray baby llama. Hi. That seems like it. Okay. Everything else is in there. Perfect. There's just some random bolts in here. So our, our machinery is running, right? Total power needed 28. Oh, because I've disconnected everything. The windmills are running, but they're not actually doing anything. Because we were working on our waterfall junk. That's right. Now, did we connect? We have, okay. So we're working on linking the pressure plate to the gates. And we were working on placing these grates. And there was one that wasn't working for me. Was that correct? Let's see. Can get in here. Here. This is what we're this is what's gonna hold us up. We have a down stairwell there. But I can't, but like they're having a hard time building the up component because there's a rock there because of course um, we could just do it here instead how about that can I even construct stair from here to yeah I need to wait until it's taken out okay look at all the turkeys Turkey's laying eggs. Someone's... Look, all the honeybee stuff is going. Cool. Okay, so that got taken out. So now... Actually, the ramp... The ramp might just let them go down on its own. Let's do this. Construct stairs. Up, lock that. Use... Rock, salt, blocks, continue. See if they can figure that out. It probably would have been smart to have a way to keep the, the millstones going, even if... Hey, some migrants! Okay, that's actually good. <laughs> We're running low on militia dorks. Um, steel bars! Ooh, okay, we're getting there. We can't have our millstones continue to run without also turning on our pump stack. So every time we want to service our waterfalls, we have to turn off the millstones. Which is fine if we can get it figured out. Um, you are a leather worker, you are a brewer, perfect. You are a woodworker. Just the three of you. All right, we're gonna need more than that. But I'll take it. I mean, that's that's better than nothing. Better than everyone getting scared of coming here. Are you, Hunter?
bone crafts are happening. Okay, so we'll have stuff to trade next time we actually get traders to successfully visit our trade depot. Who knows when that will happen? Nish has created Simor Ten Shed. Giant Stoat Leather Quiver. Cool. Neat. Someone will use that, probably. We do like our quivers. Load cage trap needs cage. Okay, that's that's a thing we should work on. Freeing up our cages. Um, something like that. And then we'll... Realistically, the farmer's workshop can come over here, even. There's just a whole bunch of... There's a whole bunch of buckets just sitting here in, <laughs> in the workshop. That's cool. Uh, let's do workshop. Farming. Horse. Probably free up all that, too, realistically. Now that we won't be getting trees over here. We could get trees on this outside edge. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of farmers' workshops there. And then for our drop pit, I do desire some spikes at the bottom. I don't think we have anything that would be useful for that. Do this. I mean, oh, hey, we have some copper spears. We have that named spear that came off of that treasure hunter that tantrumed himself to death. Pretty sure that's what that is. Um, realistically, we could just toss three copper spears and menacing iron spikes. Maybe that's that's a decorated menacing iron spike that must have come from a trader. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say... Do we want iron or bronze? Maybe we'll just make them out of bronze. Let's do... Menacing... Bronze... Spike. We'll make ten of those. And turn that into one weapon trap. Or an upright... An upright weapon trap? Is that what it's called? Up white... Upright Weapon Slash Spike Trap. Now, these are different from weapon traps. Um, upright weapons are a nasty place for intruders to fall upon. Can also be linked to levers or pressure plates to raise them into intruders. Um, so yeah, a weapon trap has... Literally any weapon can go into a weapon trap, like even crossbows. Um, and it will attack things when they enter the square. There's also upright weapon traps, which is which is pickier. You can't put just any weapon in there, I don't think. Uh, but like spears and um, the, the menacing spike is the specific trap component thing that you can make for, uh, for those traps. I don't think you can use them for anything else other than that trap. Uh, but you can also just toss in random spears. Uh, yeah, my understanding is that they can be, they'll just be upright, and anything that falls on them will take damage, like they're falling onto spikes, like you would expect. You can also hook them to a lever and they'll like retract into the ground and go back up again. And you can, and that will like make attacks on people who are standing on top of it. So if you wanted to like line a passage like this, um, you could, I mean, you could even have a like a pressure plate. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff on the ground here. Hilarious. That looks like a trader wagon. Yeah, yeah. There's a menacing iron spike. Perfect. Uh, but like if you put a you know a, pr a pressure plate and then a handful of of spike traps and had them all be down, and then a person steps on the the pressure plate and then moves on you know to the next square or so, and then all of the weapon traps activate and and stab up from below. That's a thing you can do. Um. Yeah, perfect. And then let's disassemble this one. And you just have milk and shear. This will be the same deal. Uh, milk. 
milk animal and shear animal. And where are we are, where, whoop, this one. Uh, one at a time. Check daily. Okay. And it doesn't really have suggested things for that. That's fine. Um, we'll do milk animal. Nope. <laughs> and then just immediately delete it. Shear animal. One. One. Daily. And daily. And there. So now each of those shops will check each day if something is able to be milked or sheared, and then it will do so. Probably low on buckets again. Do I, even, do I even care about milking them at this point? We have well, we have so much food. Buckets are more precious than cheese. Where are we on cheese? We have over a we have we have cheese. Okay, cheese, cheese. We have cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna say hold off on the milking for now, but I do care about the shearing. And turn milking back on later if we want to. Take a while to go through all that milk. And the waterfall stuff. Did this Did this work? This worked! Hooray! Okay. So now go ahead and put put this floor grate back. Can you use the one that's right there? Distance one away. Okay, good. And then why else did I want to be in here? I'm I removed ramps. That's why I was in here. And that worked. And we're good over here. There's our floor. There's our down. This is linked. And this didn't close them. Good. So I think, I guess I'm going to do a, a quick pass over the whole thing real quick, but I think we're good to close this back up again and give it a test run. So we'll close this. Um, and then that's, that's probably fine. Water's going to be falling here and here. And then this all seems fine. Water will flow through here and then down. And through here and then down. Yeah, I mean, if someone wants to grab that, <laughs> that block, that'd be cool. But it's not crucial, I guess. This all seems fine. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell them to put these grates back. Uh, where furniture? No, this keep building. Keep all this nice and safe. Not wash any dwarves away. And okay. I think we're good. I think we just want that to all get placed. What are you up to? You're spinning <laughs> Look at all this cheese. We've made some cheese. And some thread. Cool. Yay, cheese. Perfect. And is there there's still a whole bunch of hair? in the butcher shop, which makes sense. My understanding is that there isn't actually a place for this stuff to go workshop or uh, stockpile wise. 
some of it's going to end up just kind of sitting there. Prepare to giant stoat spleen roast. Perfect. And we made mugs, right? Oh, there's instruments in here and everything. Perfect. Um, we've gone a whole five minutes without a combat log. We are needing <laughs> cages. Why? Why is no one wanting to grab these cages? Oh, now we have. I spoke too soon. The hammer dwarf and the Sasquatch. In here. Why? Explain. Well, here's militia captain. Wow, you actually have some gear. Steel helm, steel mail shirt, silver battle axe, steel shield. Cool. Not everything, but we also haven't made everything yet. Um. Well, they still have that kill <laughs> giant owl job. Oh, let's let's turn that into kill Sasquatch. Hey creature, do you want to like not be in my way? No. Okay. Oh, perfect. See? This book binder did just fine. Warhammer and a steel helm and a copper mail shirt. Cool. Thank you for dealing with that promptly. Really not sure how it got in here. Aside from, well, these have these have cages in them. That must have been how it happened, though. do want to turn these into fortifications in case we just want to do that at some point. Hide in here and shoot at things. Always useful. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this lever. Have all of the things been placed? Those are all there. Those are all there. Okay. I think we are good to go with testing our waterfalls again. Um, we want to pull this lever to re-engage our pump stack power. And <laughs> wait for this to close for sure. But our, our automated gate, these top gates, are, are currently open. And we will just open our, our manual gates. Right? Or no. Because we haven't connected these, because that's not a thing I've done yet. Okay, I got it. Stop. Um, so we'll connect that to one of these. A depot. Stack power. Um, of course, I kind of wanted to be <laughs> in that empty spot. Let's just do lever. One of these silly ones. Then we won. Yeah. Bookbinder is fighting. You're just, just throwing up afterwards? Okay. Whatever. We got a lot of stuff that's needing to be uh, moved around to people. You still 
Acquaintance discuss their problems with me. I don't feel very empathetic. Why is that in the combat log? I discussed my problems with an, with an acquaintance. An artery was opened by the attack. Still needing... Have we chopped our trees? Chopped a couple trees. There's a couple logs up here. Um, I'm gonna... Mm. I disassemble some of these? I want this to get done too someday. Hmm. Well, you're all out here doing stuff. I mean, we did have a whole... <laughs> there's a whole caravan's worth of stuff just sitting on the ground out here. So it is going to take them a minute. happening. That's good. I do want you to spar. Keeping an eye out for our bronze spikes being completed. Doesn't look like it's going to be immediate. That's fine. There are a bunch of... Oh, we have a whole bunch of leather low boots. Interesting. We have a bunch of bolts. We have a whole bunch of copper bolts. Okay, people should be grabbing copper bolts. Yeah. What if I... Here, give them a station order... in here. Sometimes that triggers them to... put their stuff on. We should definitely make some ballista ammunition once we can. And <laughs> our, our nobles. Ugh. Let's make, we need a sheriff. We should have a sheriff. No one's good at sheriffing. Who wants to be the sheriff? What random person on the sidewalk should I point at and say, you're the law person now? We could do a bookkeeper. Bookkeeping and sheriffing is basically the same thing, right? You are our actual bookkeeper. Mm, maybe not you. Tavern keeper? Fortress is basically just a big tavern, right? Um... I don't know. Let's do... Here, you, Carpenter. You're gonna need the whole shebang. Um, including... So we can do... Bedroom, study, and then you would need a, a dining room. How about... No, this button. It's not really better, right? I don't know why I dug out this part of the hallway. That's useless. Um, really, it should be like, this is the dining room, and then we'll put a wall here. Let's do this. And you can get some 
You want some marble? Here. You can have two pieces of marble. Probably have some to spare. Uh, what do we need to do? Furniture, bed. We do have a handful of beds. Maybe I should be putting those in the... Um, our long stay bedrooms. I've been holding off on that because I don't want to make more beds. Maybe we just... Let's do this. I'm going to remove the bed job. So we're not making a bunch more. A cabinet. Ooh, chet. And a chest. Also chet. And then a door. Also jet. Cool. Oh, and then a, a chair. Uh, also jet. Why not? And then this will be a dining room. Uh, sure. Of course, I've done this all... Kind of strange, but whatever. It's fine. Um, I want another chair. And then a table. Of course... Yeah, we're far enough from the dining hall that that should be fine. No one's going to bring all their stuff up here just to eat in the sheriff's dining room, right? Right. Uh, here's bedroom. And we assign you to the sheriff. And then in office. Except the sheriff. Then a dining hall. To the sheriff. How do you like that now? You still want armor racks. And weapon stands. Easy enough. The military. Boop. Boop. And. Armor stand. There we go. Now. You just need them to be higher quality. Okay. Well, we need to start, like, smoothing out our fortress anyway, right? Oh, we're saving, whatever. Um, yeah, I think it's time to... Well, we have a bunch of people running around doing a bunch of random jobs right now, so maybe not going whole hog on it quite yet, but we should work on smoothing and engraving our stuff. Since our fortress is going to be kind of small and compact, that won't be as ridiculous of a task as it was in our previous fortress. Uh, so let's, let's start, well, we'll start with just this stuff, this stuff, <laughs> since we care. Um, they all turned, no, I didn't say one. Well, okay, you can do, <laughs> that can be priority one, that's fine. Um, look, our squad is here, do you have, you have quivers. You have quivers, but you don't, don't have ammo, despite it being right there. Okay. And it may be a matter of, like, removing the squad and make, remaking the squad. Which is silly. I mean, look at this. There's nothing... It's the only thing they're having trouble with. Like, they don't have their gloves and stuff, but that's because we, we haven't made them. I haven't made metal gauntlets yet. Boots. Just update? Can you... Can you just figure it out, please? you up to? You're just... Hmm. What's with 
with all these dead crows? Ravens. Agitated raven corpse. How are they getting this? We, we clearly need to be uh, dealing with our cage situation because they're just random things getting into our fortress now. Um, oh, we can put doors here. Why not? Um, I'm going to tell them to close this side. Cool. And you're, you're making our lever. Thank you. So then this is going to be the manual uh, waterfall refill. Get linked up to here and here. Because these are linked to the pressure plate. These are currently not linked to anything. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna <laughs> dissolve the squad and put these exact same dwarves in there. Uh, let's do cancel. Or even just disband the squad. Yes. I'm gonna let them take all their stuff off. Hey, you, where are you running with that? You don't just get to have the helmet. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna create a new squad and I'm gonna and we assign it from here. Melee door marks dwarves basic. That's what they were using. The ochre fogs. I like that name. Um, and it just is that the same? That's the same leader. Okay, so that's good. Shore asked, and then Mincot. Er, I can't search in here. That's unfortunate. Mincot. L. You, doctor. I had a doctor in the in the squad. Okay. Maybe we'll skip over you. Is anyone else a better Marks Dwarf now that I... No. Literally no one's a Marks Dwarf. Okay, perfect. Uh, Zephim? You. Yeah, well you even still have your helmet on. I guess I can look that way. Uh... Right. Okay, so we got... So yeah, Dobar, yeah, and then Feb. Feb, I've never seen that that name before. Here you are, Feb. That's our sheriff. Hmm. No, it's a different Feb. There's a Feb. Hey, yeah, there you are. And then we'll do a different one to replace uh, the doctor. Which can be anyone, because everyone sucks at Marksdorfin. Woodworker? Yeah, you're fine. Let's do that. And then... I have to fiddle with their schedule again, right? Um... Can I just copy... Paste? So that's gonna, yeah, so we'll be on the wrong, the wrong months, but we'll just do this. Paste, paste, paste. And then, the no orders. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Paste, paste, paste. And then this one, copy, paste, paste, paste. So now in theory, yeah, so three training at a time, always have your equipment, sleep in barracks at will. Um, so 
So I'm also going to have to assign them to their barracks again. Ogre fogs train there. Actually, they don't train here because they are mark stores. So they train here like that. Cool. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give them a station order here immediately so that they can go and grab their junk, in theory. And maybe this time they'll end up with bolts. That's all I want. I do like that we have these steel mill shirts already. Oh, and our squad is here. Oh, our sleepy melee squad. Giant cave spider. They're down here. I know they are. Maybe someday. Did it just fall? Takes the full force of the impact. A spider just fell out of a tree. Interesting. Uh, cancels load ballista. Got it. Make rock table. Do drink. That's all fine. Uh, I told this to be closed. Yes. I've been, I've been paused this whole time, so that's fine. Hello! How's it going? I am trying to make sure our... Mark's dwarves figure out how to load a bolt into a crossbow, which is a rather crucial part of being a Mark's dwarf. doing okay. Week is almost over. We'll be going to the vet tomorrow, but so it's, it's a logistics thing, but it'll it'll be fine. Silver bolts, perfect. That's all I care about. You have in your backpack you just grabbed two seahorses? Is that your lunch? Oh yeah, not a crisis. Um, they are. Um, this is just their their yearly checkup. And when I say yearly, I mean as frequently as we go, <laughs> which is not as often as they want it to be. Um, on you, you're sleeping. You have bolts too. Okay, I think that fixed it. I think we're okay now. What about you? Bolts, perfect. Perfect. And then, oh, we have. Mm, gonna get tested real quick here. What? Was that corpse already there? I don't even know. I don't even know. This is only. Was that someone we just assigned? Cyril? No. I swear I. I swear I put a fifth person in here. Maybe I didn't succeed. Uh, let's do... Well, since since now that I know that they can actually pick up bolts now, I'm not so hesitant to just toss people in here. A stone cutter? Hmm. Let's say leather worker. Um, okay, so we have a g agitated giant wolf. Hooray. Oh, no, others. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. We need to take care of our, uh, our caged merchants. Uh, we do have one agitated giant wolf currently. Yeah, Cyril has been found dead. I We just... Yeah, no. Did you even fight back? Agitated giant wolf attacks the recruit. Strikes the recruit, but shot is blocked by the shield. Good job. Charges the recruit. Recruit stands up. Did you even get a shot off? 
strikes the wolf in the paw with shield. You, you just immediately got into melee and then bad things happened. Okay. Um, we're going to have to be careful about keeping our Mark Storves behind walls. <laughs> Clearly. Um, if all I'm giving them for, for implements is a, a wooden crossbow and a shield, they're not going to be taking very kindly to be pounced by wolves like that, so... No! You too? You're, you're the one I just... The one I equip... The one I put in the squad to replace this one is coming here to grab this corpse's stuff and is gonna die to the same wolf. <laughs> Melee squad, please kill. And you, squad, go away. Or no. You have a kill or still. Confirm. Now, if you die, you're gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> People. I've already lost everyone who migrated here this episode. Okay, here, here we go. Here's the actual melee people. Come on. There. Okay. They are actually equipped to handle this. Now there's all these bolts out here. Now some of these are arrows. Some of this was still from the humans and whatnot. Okay, so... I want to test the waterfall. Because that's a thing. Let's, let's open this side. Well... Especially since that'll get our, our mills going back. Um... You have been linked. So these these are both linked. So I think I just need to pull things now. Pull this one first. Okay. And then what about our menacing spikes? No. Probably still needing to make bronze. How are you on bronze? None of this is happening. Did we lose our fancy people, metalsmiths? No, we have our legendary armor smith. Talented metal crafter. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe. I wonder what you're doing right now. Maybe you are just. just you are just our metalsmith. For right now we don't have anyone with like weapon crafting skill specifically another worker yeah yeah or sigan i don't want to give him a big construction job because there's still all this junk on the ground They're they're getting through it. Hey, look a, a, a Sasquatch. Okay, we're making bronze. Bronze is happening. Um, and then these are all. Look at all these bayberries. I am so happy with our trees. Parsley <laughs> traps. And the wood. Bring the wood inside, people. It's important. <laughs> God. Oh, there's logs here, even. There's We have logs here. From the, the trade caravan. They just need to come and grab it. In theory. As long as they will actually do so. Mm. 
you all. Outpost liaison. Okay. Dwarven caravan. Perfect. We have stuff to trade with this time. Hopefully they can get inside without... Drama. They aren't even getting, like, wagon caravans. Probably went all overkill for this fortress. I wonder if we'll even get big enough to have wagons. And that's how you do it. You just make your fortress so small that you never get wagons. Then you don't need to do special considerations for security. Okay. You're all inside? Good. Let's pull this. And then trade depot access we pull. And then let's check on this. So that got closed. So let's let's test it. Let's pull the waterfall. Add water to situation. Like people walking around with like the steel helm and nothing else. It's a good look. Someone coming? Slowly. Sheriff. Are your our Schult our sheriff is in a squad. I guess that's I guess that's fine. Our lever get pulled? No. Who is pulling our lever? Anyway, um, this is fine. So now let's request broker move goods. And in theory, we have nope. Is it all just sitting? All just sitting in the workshop. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I will make this great. Let's do... I mean, we could do food. Food is good, too. What about... Meat? Do you want a bunch of meat? Prepared meals, that's what we want. Where'd they go? 135 prickleberry roast. I don't want like all of them. Can I just take... Or is it all just in... That's a stack of 135. Wow. Okay. That's fine. Um, on mechanisms. We could sell all of our crappy mechanisms and just keep making more. That's an idea. Can't sort this by... I'm going to have the same value. I can never remember the exact order. Oh, and our, our legendary mechanism. This one for sure. Generally, the like the fewer lines in the little symbol, the lower quality is. So like minus is lower than plus, which is lower than the three lines. Pretty sure. Like the asterisk is pretty good. I think. <laughs> I know the masterwork is the little wheel with the the spokes. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can just find that real quick. Quality. Yeah, so it goes the minus, then the plus, then the star, then the three lines, then the masterwork. So actually the three lines is like pretty good, exceptional. So we should, we should be holding on to those. Let's like get rid of the rest of them. Not the rest, but like a good number of them. Like the star, 
superior. I would rather... I want, like, exceptional. I want, like, really good... I want the good ones. Okay. Let's just do that. That's gonna take a minute to move all that manually, but that's fine. Um... And if we have... I mean, we have wood, right? So it's just it's just on the ground. People haven't moved it, so I can tell them to use it to make windmills. Because we're needing two more windmills to actually power our full pump stack. Um, yeah, look at this whole a whole handful of wood. Okay, so that's fine. Also, well, I'm thinking of wood. We have our long stay residence areas. We could even do. What if this was like long stay residences and this was like the jail? <laughs> is that is that reasonable? Uh, use closest is fine. Let's do furniture bed. Okay. Maybe we just have enough? No, we need two more beds. Let's make two beds. And I won't make more than that unless we need to make more. And then I can just even go like this and just do the planner thing. That's fine. And that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Because now, yeah, now it's all inactive because there's not enough power. So now we're, we're actually not going to be pumping right now. But we can still test that this lever works. It's still going, so we're, we're, we're adding water now. This must have just opened. The thing I want to test is that when the water reaches our pressure plate, it, and then there's a little bit of water there, when it's, it's either three or four, or four or five, I don't think I can actually view it. Why can pressure plates take work orders? Anyway. In theory, okay, so now... It has been pressed, so I think it is now sending an open signal, right? So in theory, what will happen... We're not even going to have enough water come from... <laughs> the, the river's frozen. We're not going to be able to fill it enough. So that's funny. Um, we'll also see what the waterfalls do here. But in theory, when enough water is on top of this pressure plate, it deactivates and sends a closed signal to the gates upstairs. That's what we're, what we're hoping for here. And then... Look! Oh yes! Okay, perfect. Oh, it's even... It's misting everywhere! So much mist. Are you, are you coming up or down? Yeah. Did you get a waterfall? I was close to a waterfall. I'm very content. Success. Okay. Proof of concept. Um, you bring me, bring me more wood. Always more wood. And anything else? We have so much leather and cloth now. Accidentally. Um, instruments are good, so I don't have to make them on my own, because they're complicated. Uh, bags, thread, buckets? Sure, bring me some buckets. Uh, 
And then sheets. Sheets might be nice, but let's hold off on that for now. That's that's fine. I think wood is the main thing we want. Um, broker pl cancels place item in tomb interrupted by Sasquatch. Great. Is this only going down one side? I mean, okay, so we're filling there. We're filling there. Okay, so it's it's working. It's just it's getting there. All right? Should be should be flowing. I think it's just the, the it's not that much water. I think is what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Half of this is gonna evaporate, <laughs> but that's fine. And I'm curious. Ooh, some migrants. That's good. We can see a four on here. That'd be cool. It's probably not gonna happen. So now, unfortunately, what's going to happen here... Is since we're not going to have enough water to actually <laughs> fill what we're doing here, um, some of this is going to evaporate, and then this is going to back down to zero, and the zero is going to count as a close signal, I think is what's going to happen. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Like, yeah, there's there's not not quite enough water, and we're not pumping. Everything's just flowing, but we're not overflowing, which is good. It's all just kind of flowing down. Um, but once we get these two windmills built... Yeah, someone's working on it. And we got... It looks like we got four more migrants. Okay, so that's... Not bad. Um, oh, and the stupid mig migrant cages. <laughs> let me get. Let me let the migrants out of the or the, the merchants out of the cages before I forget for a third time. Uh, cage, cage. I'm just gonna. Yeah, so I can't do it in there. That's fine. Uh, no, I want to select the cage. Because it has a person. And nope. Black bear, giant great horned owl, owl lynx woman, human. Human cage. <laughs> nope. There's a second one, right? Believe there were two. Unless they already died, yeah. Uh where Unless they got let out. No, oh, friendly caged, yeah. So there's just there's just one. Okay. Miss B. Let's let Miss B out of the cage. Our, is all of our stuff here? Wow. Wow. So there's all our mechanisms and our gigantic pile. 29,000 for prickleberry roasts. Neat. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I can split that stack. I think I can either trade them 29,000 worth of prickleberry roast or not. I can't just take one off the stack and hand it to them. So that's unfortunate. Kind of. Um, I'm going to trade for all of their logs. Please and thank you. They brought a bunch of instruments. I, must, I apparently asked for that last time. Oh, geez. Maybe I will trade them all those berry roasts and then just... Oh, I should have asked for llamas. Oh, well. Um, 
or a barrel. Iron battle axe, copper pick. Bronze low boots. Steel low boots. Ooh. Why not? Well, because I want to do high boots. Yeah, I told him to do high boots this time. Silk gloves. Neat. We need to actually get cloth production, clo like clothing production going at some point. Kind of been coasting. Um, a bunch of iron bolts. Some of those are very expensive. How do you decorate your bolts? I don't know. Our gems meet. Uh, more cheese? Do we need more cheese? And some parchment. Why not? Do I trade all of these mechanisms? How much is that? Quite a bit. Okay. Maybe we'll just do that for now. And thank our lucky stars that we can actually trade with them. Jeez, 29k. And some of these are going to be, like, fairly expensive instruments as well. Jeez, if I grab the cheapest of each kind, what would that turn into? That. And that. Probably grab the most expensive of each, each kind <laughs> with with how much that would turn into. Jeez. So many different kinds. We could easily buy 29,000 worth of instruments. That one is worth 2400 on its own. And then cages, okay. Yeah, geez. Yeah, let's let's do it. Why not? Cuz then I'll I'll grab some of these fancy ones. 2400 for like these decorated things. Assuming our trader knows what he's talking about. Like, geez, like we're already down into the yellow. Uh, yeah. Holy cow. That adds up real fast. Geez, there are so many. What if we let's try that? Haha, -ha, okay. Well that was a that was a deal. Ooh. Who's a hammer dwarf and a sasquatch? Bilbar? Is that one of ours? No. Ooh. Yeah. No, that is one of ours. You're just not supposed to be up here. Uh, melee squad, please dispatch the Sasquatch that has entered our courtyard. Now, was that like one of them right here? Okay. Well, at least there's a, a friend and you're actually firing on it from a distance. Thank goodness. See, that's how it's supposed to work. Teamwork. Teamwork. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Hopefully, hopefully everyone else was fine. Spin threads. Okay, and then of course that interrupted constructing <laughs> windmills. Ugh. Okay, how is our spike traps going? Still, still not. Okay, got it. 
now we're making more rock mechanisms. Perfect. I like that. I like trading them away so that we make more and get better at it. Instead of just letting them pile up somewhere. Having to find a way to destroy them, that'd be silly. Here's another... Another wolf. Get back inside. Here, I'm going to say melee squad can station up here. Since we're going to have so much activity here looting our, <laughs> our caravan. One of them's here anyway. Yeah, 10, ma 10 machines. Kill. Kill. Or chase away. That's also fine. What do you got on you? You have a bronze war hammer, steel shield, and the, the steel helmet, and not much else. And you're still going for it. You had a you had a station order, yeah, not, not a kill order, so hopefully it backs off a little bit. No, I'm just gonna go for it. Chase him back inside, of course. Get him! Get him! Oh no, you dropped your... Ugh, heavy bleeding. Oh my gosh. Put your clothes on. Ugh. Now you are unconscious. Severe blood loss. Great. Can someone get him to a hospital? Like now? Keep... Stay stationed over here. Someone's gonna get <laughs> in trouble. Um... Pale. He's conscious! Or she? You're being dragged off? Hopefully you survive and get in the hospital. Oh, Godspeed. Uh, okay, so then you all can station back inside here. That's fine. Uh... Our trade depot, we're still, still grabbing all of our instruments out of here. Perfect. That we should definitely make some temples. We... Where are we fighting? That's all... Okay, that's all fine. Um, and we have a job to make... Ballista arrowheads. But not for making the... No, a simple bronze arrow. And this is checking its conditions. It's going to... Well, this claims we have... Not enough arrowheads. Because they're probably not in... Uh, a stockpile? Or have they just not been made yet? Nope. Nope. Someone's slacking! I would... certainly appreciate... Haunted Metal Crafter, but you're in the... Novice Armorsmith. Yeah, fine. Need to work on it. Oh, why is there another wolf here? <laughs> Always with the freaking wolves. Now you're gonna chase it out on your own and get separated. And do the exact same thing you watched your squad mate do five minutes ago. <laughs> Leave it alone, it's running from you. It's only a danger when you chase it. Oh, 
all the way around. All the way around. Are you tired yet? Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Oh, oh, almost intercepted. Not quite. Jeez. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Did you see that? That was instantaneous. Kill this one also. Please. Thank you. My god. Now, you're still going to stay stationed up here. Because that's just going to keep happening. You can see the end of some of these stacks now. We are getting through it. Cage traps are like completely empty, but that's what's going to happen. Ooh, one of our windmills got made. Oh, and it's going. Okay. So the one, the one was spare, but we we have 220 power. We're using 216. We we're all we're all connected, right? So now we're now we're pumping. Now we're pumping. There's really not that much water in here. We definitely need more. Uh, but it's it's mid-autumn, so we're not going to get some for quite a while. Oh well. I wonder if we could pump up from the second cave? Would that be more reliable? We'd have to make a whole second pump stack just for refilling. We're just going to be so... We're going to be out of water all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Melting's being done. Good. Good, good, good. And what you? Butcher and animal. Are you in a squad? You were one of our ranged squad. We have all your stuff on you, so that's good. Are you wearing two male shirts? I know you can wear two male shirts, but I didn't tell you to wear two male shirts. Um, and we'll have to make their boots and stuff. Uh, when we lost, we did lose someone. Um, equipment. Yeah, leather, leather armor, which of course you'll need to replace very shortly. But just one male shirt. I don't know why they just grabbed a male shirt instead of the leather armor. Maybe. Oh, look, another wolf. Oh my god. Confirm. Ooh, okay. The axe is good. Station. Of course, all these weapons keep getting dropped and just left outside. Hey, look, another wolf. Is it just wolf season? I wonder if it's a seasonal thing. Hey, we're milling plants! Because we have power! Hooray! Yeah... Jeez. Our hooray power! Yes, hooray power. Oh, we should open... Should we open this? So I'll have some things to grab from here. Oh, uh, I'll leave it closed for now. I guess the... Since the traders don't have a caravan, they can leave through our main entrance. I'm gonna leave this closed for now. They can leave when they want. Oh, these stupid... Wolves. Cool. Oh, jeez. We're getting good. Hopefully they 
stay good. Oh, okay. Hey, look, another. It's ridiculous. I have to just close the door and let us <laughs> sort out our garbage for a little while. It's just going to sneak in, isn't it? Kale. Like, what? where's your weapon? Pick up equipment. Oh, you have a crutch. Libash, is you... Are you the one who got annihilated just before? Moderate blood loss. And why are you out of the hospital? Jeez. Are you just going to get immediately annihilated by a wolf after getting out of the hospital? You... Well, luckily you're not going to be very fast. You, if you're, if you need a crutch to walk around, you shouldn't be in the military at all. You know what? I'm gonna. Yeah, I hate to say it, but you get, you're getting retired. Uh, Libash. Replace with. Does anyone a hammer dwarf? Anyone want a hammer? Novice hammer dwarf. The doctor. No. <laughs> Uh, expedition leader, no. No one is a hammer dwarf. Let's just remove for the moment. So that you don't have the order. Where'd it go? You. Shh. Okay. So if can I, <laughs> will you disengage? Probably not. We're just gonna keep going for it. Now you, storing items, that's fine. That's your job now. Ooh, you okay now? Cool. Lines of sight. Cool, okay, we have all the power we need. For the moment. You have all been told to station. Woof. What is that? Just a random cloth bin? That wasn't... Was that even there before? Have the merchants left? No, not yet. Okay. So where are we at? We... Have our waterfalls are theoretically working, except for the fact that there's no water in there, but that's fine. That's a problem that'll fix itself eventually. Um, I'm curious what happens with the pressure plate when it hits zero. So I want it to stay open, but it might close. Um, and then... Why do you have so many socks? You have so many socks. Oh, and this. Okay, so we can do this. Um, let's call these bedrooms. Multi. Then done. And these will belong to no our tavern, the Saffron of Brass. Yeah. Now, in theory, we can get some monster hunters interested in some sleepovers. And then these are going to be jail cells, because one, two, three, four, five, that's perfect. Uh, so let's do restraints. Restraints. Uh, yeah, we'll put it, put it here. We have, we have some ropes. Cool. Maybe not quite enough. Actually, it's going to be perfect. Perfect. Cool. And then we turn those into dungeon. Is that... 
Does that work? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. Where's Fortress Guard? Zard metal cages and chains in dungeon. Five of three. Cool. No working grasps. What do you mean? Why is our sheriff unconscious in the dining hall? Ability to grasp loss. I guess sheriffs might want to be able to use their grasping ability. I don't know why you're uh, unconscious, though. Okay, so that was what was just happening. Merchants will be leaving. Okay. Things are happening. What are you... Picking up equipment. And you're one of our melee dudes. You're just... Coming out for a weapon, obviously, because you don't currently have one. So that means you're gonna go up and... Fight the wolf barehanded. Ugh, stop! Always! Always! And now you're barehanded again, and you're bleeding heavily. Confirm. Chase it towards the others. There's not even anyone else out here. You are at a heavy disadvantage and is running away from you. Which means you're just going to chase it until it kills you. Yeah, okay. You, you disengaged. Good. Station. Please. You even seriously injured. You can't even... You can't even station now. Merchants have left. Embarked. They're gonna. They're gonna come out up here. You grabbing our friend? Thank you. Half our squad is gonna be in the hospital at any one time. Jeez. And this, like, this whole. Whole stack is ridiculous. Oh, I moved the cage with the human, but I didn't actually let the human out. Here, you can leave. You've served your time. Own our sheriff, okay. The Messiahs of Labor. That's the squad from our previous fortress. Thought. Yeah, Contingent Seals, former Militia Dwarf. This person was in the, was in a Militia Squad in Elder Ring. And now is, a uh, is our Sheriff here. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't even catch that. Um... It's really interesting that it's registering as being in the same squad still. Uh, oh, the thing I was gonna check was, are you happy? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. Happy enough. Glorious. It is glorious. I wonder... I do wonder how many of our former fortress residents have made it over here. I should look... I should look at the legends more. Because you can actually kind of look into it a little bit. Um... Gantruck has a mod sword, and her dwarf does too, of course. Gantruck can have all the things. Uh, what you really gotta watch out for is when uh, I start giving the mods axes. <laughs> okay. So this is okay for the moment, but there's still, there's still just constantly one wolf everywhere. Well here, well, here go the merchants. Maybe they'll take care of something.
I'm not really getting my hopes up, but it could happen. I'll probably have to wind around and... <laughs> no, leave it. Leave it. Leave the wolf. You... You idiot. Okay. You were just going up there to grab some decapitated parts. Oh, and here's a tree. Honestly, we have some we have we have wood here. They just need to grab it. They just need to grab it. Okay. Now this. Why is this not happening? The metal stuff is be quickly becoming the stuff that I care about so that we can keep our squads protected. Uh, we're making bronze bars. You. No, I want to see... Where is Lore? Where is Lore? What are you doing that is not using your legendary skill for me? Where are you? Here you are. Store item in bin. I just, you need to be, I mean, storing items is a thing that needs to be happening right now, but you need to be making stuff. Yeah, making bronze bars. Maybe I should say, because bronze bars doesn't take, like the, the skill for making bronze bars increases the speed at which they make bar, but like you're not getting a higher quality bar out of it. So I'm going to say our smith profession is going to take out furnace operating. Uh, yeah. I forget what blacksmithing and metal crafting specifically do. But I think I'm going to do that. So then, like, I'm only restricting the armor smithing and the weapon smithing, and then everyone else can do all of the other smithing jobs, including making bars. Hopefully that will... Maybe that's a better use of our labor. Um, and then clothing. So we're not... Like, we have... We have accidentally acquired a lot of cloth. Ooh. Don't do it! Uh, at least you have. Or are you? Are you ours? No, you're a you're a you're a merchant. So that's that's fine. You can you can fight the wolves all you want. There, thank you. And then he's just gonna run off the the side of the map. Wrestler found dead. <laughs> hey, look, another wolf. Was that our... Yeah, that was our squad leader. Adequate Axdorf. I mean... Kind of... <laughs> Turning the herbalist into a soldier. And then Hammerdorf. One of our ranged people is an adequate hammer dwarf. Jeez. Planter, mechanic, bookbinder. I care about all of these people not dying. Even siege operator. I'm planning on using siege weapons. Let's do... Planter. And then someone's fighting. Okay. They still have their station order, so those other two will get their stuff going. My goodness! Meat is being made. That's good. Hey, look, another wolf!
And then you are gonna... Or no, you grabbed the... No, what did you grab? You're, you're holding off an axe dwarf. Oh, okay, and then here's our spear dwarf. And, okay, we actually have two people here, but you have nothing on you. Good job. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm liking our spear dwarf. How many kills do you have? Eight. It's like ten total. Two of them were named. You've killed a zombie giant great horned owl, even. I like this one. So he's gonna die. Uh, okay. Thing I'm really wanting right now, which is gonna take labor and to bring a whole bunch of people out here and be dangerous. The thing I want is like some spots for our crossbow people to be helpful without being in danger. Which means like a structure up here of some kind. So I think what's going to happen um, at the very least I think we want like a, like a floor across a lot of this. Um, and we'll use our rock salt blocks. Oh, and like we don't even have enough. Ugh. Like even just normal rock salt. We're gonna need a whole bunch of blocks to do this. Ugh. Okay, well then. We will be tactical. I want one here for sure. I'll probably put little, like, I'm gonna put little towers up here. I think that's what we want. Uh, rock salt blocks. And then... I'm gonna do fortifications along the front like this. But really, we probably... Okay, here, let's... And here's our jet blocks. I'll do those for the walls. I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking. Maybe... Maybe this comes all the way across. So I was thinking of putting a floor across this whole thing, and then just not just having a roof. Uh, but what if we had like a tower here, and we'll put fortifications on, you know, three sides at least. But fortifications here, so that if you're standing here, and something makes it in, they can still shoot down on the things as they travel through here. They can shoot down from above. And shoot down on them. And they can also get into here. Like, this is also a place where I want them to stand. Maybe I should have them do that now. Uh, to get <laughs> to get some practice. Um, but then I can just extend that all the way up. So then they can be standing on this side and shoot down here. And even go all the way up and then they could shoot down into here as well. Maybe that's smart. No promises. Uh, then we would just go like this. Another 16. Which we don't have, so we'll, we'll keep making rock salt blocks, I think. I don't know if I'm making those specifically. I know I'm making jet blocks specifically. Uh, let's see. Rock salt blocks, yes, okay. So then I want this to be up to... Less than 20? No, I want a bunch. Like, a hundred. We have rock salt. You know that for sure. Uh, whatever junk is sitting up on top of our walls. But, now that I've... I've thought that... Um... I want people to defend... I want to make little hidey holes for people to stand in with crossbows and give them defend orders. And those are tied to 
burrows. So I'm going to add a burrow. It's literally just going to be this little strip here. Um, give that a, an arrow looking symbol. And this is going to be um, trade entrance. I don't even know. How do I distinguish all these from each other? Lower forts. Okay. And that will just exist. And then I can say... And their schedule... So currently we have their training three months on, three months off. And I think in the months that they're off... Yeah, sleep, equip always, sleep at need. Uh, let's... I'm going to say minimum of two, and I'm going to give him an order to defend a burrow. Okay. I've never actually done this, this specific thing. Confirm. I don't know why they're... they can sleep at will, that's fine. And then we'll say done. I'm gonna copy, paste, 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 paste. And then even when they're training... Mm, how do I do this? I want to have like some defending at all times is kind of what I want. This this squad will eventually get bigger. I think that's ultimately what's going on. Um, let's see. They're currently on, on stagger training. Why are they both on stagger training? I tried to make them different. I tried to make them different. So 10 machines are not for the three months. But you are for the three months. Oh, stagger training is just this. Okay, they're in those third. Yeah, okay, that's fine. No special orders. Um, it is currently sandstone. So they will be training. That's fine. I'm curious to see if they will just show up in here and be defending. Because that's the ideal. I want them to just... Like, I don't want to have to sit here and manually babysit them all the time. I want them to just kind of, like... <laughs> I want them to just keep an eye on things. Are you gonna... Are you in trouble? You... Okay, you're fine. Jeez. Okay. Who are you? Human hunter, visitors ready to leave. You're welcome to. <laughs> okay. And we got. Still only got the four. That's fine though. Kind of want to get. I want to get back up to fifty before I fill them back up. Come on. Okay. You are getting. Oh, you're injured now, see? It's just a matter of time. Like, look at all these kills. Twelve kills. Took me too long to realize the mod sword was in chat and not on my Steam avatar. <laughs> very Two very different kinds of swords, yeah. Oh, look, another Sasquatch. What are you... you're grab, picking up equipment? Yeah, of course. 
Because you got nothing. You got a crutch. We got all these silly... Injured people in our squads. Now the Sasquatch is fighting the injured person and the random human. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. And drop. Okay. I see smelting happening. Yeah, our own, we're, we're making more whip vine because we have been milling the whip vine, in theory. Uh, down here. Yeah, look at all these whip vine seeds. They're not being moved, but we have a bunch. Cool. So now we should have a whole bunch of whip vine flower bags. Okay, here's the thing that I want to try. Here's the thing I'm curious about. Because we can tell people to make prepared meals. I'm curious if I can tell them to make a specific prepared meal. I cannot. I wonder if I can... How would I do that? I could set up some fancy workshop links. I also want... Like we have a prepare, yeah, prepare lavish meal. Uh, up to 200. I want to do like 500. I want to have a whole bunch of prepared meals. And then brew drink from plant. Same, same deal. I want like a thousand of drinks. And then the mead is probably not checking that, but I think that's actually appropriate. I just want to turn all of our excess honey into mead. Yeah. Amount of honey containing items, 10. Okay. I think that's good. And you're spinning, you're making cheese. I think things are looking good. Uh, what about our metal stuff? That's a oh I know um animals. I don't know if we got any new critters. From our migrant wave, a whole bunch of ducks. We should turn on some auto butcher type things. We should also toss some more stoats in a hole. Yeah, geez. Okay. Um, I'm curious about our menacing spikes. This is being done. Oh, look! Perfect. Okay. And you... Is this lore? This is lore. You are making things. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Why harm yourself for anybody else's benefit? And you just you go and grab another bar and a coke and you're you're good now you're making copper bolts perfect perfect and then here we have all, all these jet blocks people are leaving all the blocks in there did you no nope, you're still going after him wrestler found dead no That's our... that was our... that was the good one. The one with the spear? You had nothing. Well, that's... Well, there's your problem. Ugh. That was the one with, like... 12 kills, wasn't it? There. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> So what are we what are we doing? We're waiting on rock salt blocks. Those are happening. That's good. Are we building? In theory, people are building, and they they can get here, right? It's a little circuitous, but that's fine because they can get up, and then they can just go across this this wall. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like they should be able to do that. Because this is a floor right here. We constructed that. And I've seen people on the top of these walls. Let's do... Let's do this. Rock salt blocks. Perfect. Oh. I think we just have too many jobs going, which is a very common problem for my fortresses, but this did close. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hook this up to another another thing. Okay, so that does when the when there's no water on it, it is not activated, which makes which is what I thought. That does mean we need to annual water fall refill. This is auto waterfall refill override. <laughs> I guess is what that is. Uh, so we need to open the access gate. So we'll open that, and then we'll have access to that, and then we'll be good. And someday we'll have water in there. Are you are you training? Are you shooting at targets? Archery practice. Oh my gosh, it's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be using my copper bolts to do so, but you know. I could just poke a hole in there. Hmm. That's yeah, my understanding. Let's let's see if this works. If not, I can always just fix it. This is that's floor. I'm pretty sure there's a the top half of the stairs are right there. I just can't see it because yeah, it just shows you ice wall. Did that freeze over? Can they not get in there? Hmm. Why would that be the case? I mean, I know we're going through the river there, but we have walls around it. Wow, our whole squad's here? Almost the whole squad? Are you just all... Yeah, the whole squad's here, and you have all your stuff. For once. Of course, there's still a whole bunch of junk out here. All the food is going to be just rotting. That's fine. Auto stuff. Okay, that's what I was gonna do. Here, let's. This is all. This is all chill for the moment. We're, we're there's our there's our bronze arrowheads. Okay. Great horned owl man, hammer man. Where'd you go? I want to see. Friendly. No, you're a human. You're still caged. Why are you still caged? Unassigned document. Someone still needs to just come by and open. <laughs> open your cage. Um, actually, we're just going to do that. 
And now... If there's still a whole bunch of stuff in the, the trade depot, yeah, we're... We're getting through our backlog of, of stuff. Um, that got opened. So let's go back down here. No, not there. Uh, this one. Water waterfall refill override. So we're going to link this to that and that. Cool. So what that will do, I've been learning about levers and, and mechanisms and stuff recently. The main quirk that I've learned is that things like levers and pressure plates do not send a toggle signal. Um, like a light switch. Like, you know, when you have two light switches hooked up to the same... the same light? Whichever way you flip it will change the state of the light, right? But levers don't work the same way. Um, levers and, and pressure plates and things like that, they will send an open signal or they will send a closed signal. And if the thing is open, when it sends an open signal, then just nothing happens. And likewise, when it's closed. Um, and that was tripping me up in the last fortress. If you saw me be stupid about that with a with a floodgate, that's what was going on. Um, like you, sometimes you'll pull a lever and nothing happens, and you're like, why? And then you pull it again, and something does happen, and you're like, why did it work that time but not the time before? It's because it was because you sent an open signal, it was already open, and then you pull it again and send a closed signal, and it closed, and it was fine. Um, so that's just something you have to watch out for when you have something hooked up to two sources of of the signal essentially, if it can receive a, an open signal or a closed signal from two different sources, they'll get out of phase of each other. Uh, but with this, the way I'm currently understanding the way this pressure plate situation working is the pressure plate will send an open signal when there is one, two, or three depth water on the pressure plate. So if there is a zero, four, five, six, or seven, it sends a closed signal. So that's why it's closed right now, because we we have a, a pressure plate that's sig sending a closed signal. I'm hoping, I guess we'll we'll see. Um, oh, we're paused. I'm hoping that I can just pull a lever to send an open signal. And hopefully the pressure plate just isn't sending a continuous closed signal. I guess that's the real question. But we'll we'll see how that works. I think I think we can do this. I think we can do it this way. If not, I'll just have someone sit there on the lever and like <laughs> pull it back and forth until there's enough water in there. There's like just random sasquatches everywhere. Uh, make bronze bars. Perfect. Now, BF hack has some fancy things that I want to use at this juncture. Let's go control panel. I turned off basically all the auto stuff. Oh, we have auto clothing on even. How, are, how has that been working? Currently set zero automatic clothing orders. Yeah. So I think I enabled the plugin, but I didn't tell it to do anything. Um, but like half our fortress needs clothing. Yeah, everyone needs headwear. So... Uh, can I... Help. Maybe, I, maybe this is an off-stream thing, but... Uh, auto clothing, cloth... What if I don't care about the material? Material can be cloth, silk, yarn, leather... Item can be anything your civilization can produce. When invoked without parameters, shows a summary of all managed clothing orders. The overall clothing situation in your fort. When invoked with a material and item, but without a quantity, shows current configuration for that material and item. Okay. So let's do like... Cloth. Robe. And the quantity is... 
So that's the desired number of cloth short skirts available per citizen to Tim. I don't need that many. Just one. What, each citizen just needs the one, right? All right, we'll say two. Everyone gonna have two robes. Or displays, and yeah, okay. So if I do that, added order for cloth robe to two. So if I do cloth, uh, cap, caps are cool. Caps are probably cheap. And then if I want sock, ooh. And then we could even do, let's do like leather shoes. And then there's trousers. And gloves. Unrecognized glove. Oh, uh, so just glove. That work? I had a glove. Okay, cool. So now if I look at just the thing, it should say... Right? Where's... There we go. Automatic clothing management is currently enabled. Clothing set, six automatic clothing orders. Cloth robe two, cloth cap two, cloth sock two, leather shoe two, cloth trouser two, cloth glove two. Cool. So those will just go, and I won't have to deal with the actual work orders. Um, I do want to turn on auto butcher. Oh, geez. All races plus new. This is a new interface. I haven't seen this before. Do we have... Do we have all of these? Giant cardinals? Giant wolverines? Uh... I don't need to get that specific, I don't think. Um, just, I want to see what do we have? Monitoring races, Alpa alpaca. I'm just going to leave this all on the default, I think. This is going to do. I believe this is female kid, male kid, female adult, male adult. So it's five of each of the females and two of each of the male. Or everything. Goats. How many... St is this watching stoats? Our stoats aren't tamed. No. Okay. Do we have sheep? We did have a lamb, didn't we? Okay. Um, so I'm going to leave that on. I'm not going to do auto chop. We might do auto farm at some point. Auto fish, auto labor, auto nest box. Auto nest box is good for if you're trying to breed bird things, but I just care about the the eggs right now, so we don't need to do anything about it. Hermit, misery, nest. What is all? What on earth is all this? I think that's all fine. <laughs> I'll, we'll leave that all alone. That'll give them some more work to do. As if they need it. Um, we're even getting through all this rock. Holy cow. What's all this? Limonite? Probably need to find... more rock to mine. Um... This all seems... this is all fine, right? I guess technically it can have that too. Um, oh, and then we have we have cold cases because I didn't get around to convicting people. I'm curious if any of these have accusations. Doesn't appear so. Okay. That's fine. 
fortress guard. We have a sheriff. <laughs> no working grasps. Uh, then whatever, it's fine. Um, we might also want to just assign a hammerer. Probably, I mean, and not someone who's actually in our military doing hammer stuff. Give you a book binder. Smack people with a book. And you don't need stuff. Okay, you're fine. We'll, we'll do that. So. This is all fine. We, we mined out as much jet as we're going to get out of here. Um, though we could also do, like... This can continue to be... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh... The, those things? The, the slabs? <laughs> uh... I don't think we really need to place many more... Maybe we do. Or no, we have some empty ones. Good. Good. Not all of them have been taken yet. I am curious about. I mean, we have we have lignite, we have magnetite. That's all fine. Curious about jet being anywhere else? What the heck? Well, there's like spiders, cave spider silks just in here on the cage traps. That's actually kind of brilliant if they can just naturally lay webs on the cage traps that can actually uh well actually i don't know if it i know that like giant cave spider and forgotten beast web on a cage trap makes for a really nasty cage trap like things that usually can't be caught in cages can be caught in cages that have webs on them but i don't know if normal cave spiders work the same way in that regard um i do want to sh to smooth this so that we can turn into fortifications. Same thing here. It's already smooth even, so fortify through here. And this is just a big old slope, so that's perfect. I don't know why they gave up on digging down here. I'd probably just... whatever. Um, I do want bridge that tracks like that and that can be I don't know just make it out of granite whatever and then that's fine and then those don't need to be there but we do want to remove the slopes. That. Okay. Look at all the garbage in here. Um. Okay. Do we have menacing spikes yet? I want menacing spikes. Oh, look. They just added. Jeez. Is that how it does it? Just. Okay. <laughs> I could have done that. Uh, we're almost done with our menacing spikes. Okay, cool. I might tell our squad to stop stationing. Give them a break. You, you're going nuts. Stretching your legs. I want them to build this. I'm really curious if the if my little route through the the river is the problem there. Let's try this. Let's just do stairs like this. And we'll do like that. That's fine. Maybe that'll help them get up. I don't know why this would 
freeze. Shouldn't freeze. Okay, and we're we're slaughtering some donkeys. Did we have a bunch of donkeys? Uh there's a full. Full, full. Yeah, we Yeah, okay. So they're gonna they're gonna <laughs> remove some of our excess critters. That'll be helpful. Interrupted by a giant great horned owl. Our revolt spikes has been completed. Okay, cool. Excellent. So now let's go down to the bottom of our spike trap. Or where we're going to have a spike trap. Go trap. Upright weapons. I want to select the materials and it's going to be all... Uh, I'm only seeing eight bronze spikes, but that's probably because the other two are not in a stockpile yet. Probably just sitting... A whole bunch of them are sitting in here. Once those get moved, we'll be fine. Hey, we're saving. We have our ballista arrowheads. I'm hoping those get turned into ballista arrows. Oh, a small heart attack every time it saves. <laughs> I'm tempted to say... I'm going to move some of this stuff around. I want some more clothing. For you... Let's move our jewelers. Here, we'll move them over here. Sure, whatever. You're, you're crafting crafts. Perfect. You're probably not moving them to where they're supposed to go. Nope, not even a little bit. Why? Why? You're not... You're not restricted to where you take from. Hmm... Why is that so difficult? Also, do we have miners? <laughs> miners? We have miners. We have legendary miners. We have three legendary miners. Hmm. Still, there's still so much stuff up here. Oh well. They seem fine. Oh, that's a new tree. That's a bayberry tree. Bayberry, bayberry. Larch. Cool. You, of course. We'll hold off on chopping more trees for now since we actually have some wood. It's just not in our stockpiles at the moment. Like here, yeah. We have wood. What is everyone up to? Where are you all? Okay. Sleeping. Okay. I mean, people are working. We just we just have a small fortress. That's all. That's fine. I mean, we've been we've been sitting at fifty frames for this whole stream series, so I'm happy with that. Gonna be a bit for all this stuff to get taken care of here. Okay. Go to combat drill. Um, if we finished our menacing spikes, I think that's all of the metal smithing. All the spikes are just still sitting in here. 
Um, I want to make more steel jobs if all of the existing things are taken care of. Which I think they are from the metals, metals perspective. Um, let's do steel greaves. So that's the one that's missing from our melee dwarves. And then, oh, and high boots. I think that's the other thing that we're missing. And, and gauntlets. Yeah, we're, we're still missing most things. Oh well. Um, but we can make more leather armor. That seems easy enough. Um, and trousers? We should have trousers. Let's do this. Let's, nope. Leather armor. We'll just do ten of those. We'll do leather trousers. We'll do ten of those. And then we'll do steel gauntlets. We'll do ten of those. And then high boots. We'll do ten of those. And that'll keep our armorsmith busy. Using our legendary armorsmith before he gets eaten by a stoat. Plump helmet man is fighting. Human wasting zombie mercenaries fighting. That's a good sign. Did you? Did the zombie survive? We still have our caged human. Um. Plump helmet men down there. What? And the zombie? Where's the zombie? Yeah, it's a guest. This guest, a guest zombie. Hi, human mercenary wasting zombie. Talented crossbowman. Uh, where are you from? The Armored Confederation, former member. Common Coalition, Fellowship of Skins. Neat. Oh, and you're a member of a nomadic group called the Passionate Quakes. Interesting. After they chat with a local. Chat with a local! You're in the place where you can chat with a local. Unless they just can't talk. Polite! It's a polite zombie! <laughs> Are we... No, I think we're fine. I want to look at the zombie. I just don't want to... Uh, miss something in the meantime. Here you are. You're just going into the corner. Visitor has come to relax. She heard the saffron of brass was a place to enjoy oneself. Welcome. Okay. Doesn't feel anything while performing. Ugh. Ugh. Zit and go through emotions. Okay. And then what's your... A deep well of patience, a good memory, a good kinesthetic sense, and a way of with words, but she has a lousy intellect. <laughs> Quite polite. I like... I really like the idea of a polite zombie. Um, okay, I, I do want to... S let's smooth... let's smooth. Um, like dining hall is a good thing to smooth. Rooms, bedrooms are good to smooth. I mean, let's just do... This whole area. Smooth the whole dang thing. I'm giving it kind of a, a medium priority, so it's not something that they stop making food for, but hopefully it gets done. Okay. There. And that will eventually be nice looking. We have all of our seeds. 
Yeah. I just need to move some stuff around. Here. Oop. Steel high boots. Excellent. Okay, let's try our... Let's try our bike trap again. Upright weapon. And there, ten menacing iron spikes. Or bronze, I should say, because that's what they are. Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Ten menacing bronze spikes. Uh, of course, I don't get to choose the mechanism, or maybe it doesn't get a mechanism. Maybe that's oh, so it doesn't it doesn't get a mechanism because it's done with the lever. That's the difference. Because in a weapon trap, you put in a mechanism, and the mechanism factors into the attack roll. Also, yay, fey mood. I'm just chilling in your bedroom, and all of a sudden... What are you? You're a broker. What's the broker gonna do? I'm a craft dwarf. Grab some bones. And a wood. Wow, grabbing a lot of stuff. It's a good sign. More wood. Cloth. Cool. Something heavy. Is that it? Works furiously, okay. So some stoat bones, some logs, some cloth, some logs, some cloth, and a rock. Good job. What do you what do you think he's making? Uh professional appraiser, novice leather worker, bone carver. It could be a like a just a carved bone craft thing. Uh, like a like an amulet or whatever. It could be any of those things. Okay, cool. Hammer has been stung by a honeybee. And greaves are happening. Good greaves. Good greaves. And need to make more steel, but of course, because we're going through our steel. We're, we're slaughtering Keats, but that's fine. We don't need to have a whole bunch of Keats running around. What are you all doing? You're milling plants? Okay. Oh, and this is happening. Perfect. Oh, but they didn't even... They didn't need this. Okay. So they're fine. Just... We just need to do it. <laughs> and I still don't see our... Friends... Uh, stationing here, but I think they're still not in... Where are we? No, they should be... They should be coming in there at some point. In the next couple months. Broker has created Ulba Loboth. Fashu... Fashu Crasher. Uh, a giant stoat bone figurine of Diggle Paddle Razors. Cool. So, figurine to a, of a person surely will have something fancy. Worth five grand. Uh, let's see. Item is masterfully designed. Image of Diggle Paddle Razors, the dwarf. And Focus Conjured, the giant stoat. In giant stoat bone, uh, Focus Conjured is striking down Diggle. <laughs> it's the time that a stoat killed a dwarf. Uh, two years ago. It is decorated with giant stoat bone, encircled with bands of oak, adorned with hanging rings, uh, rings of pigtail, menaces with spikes of birch, llama wool, apaca wool, an image of glazed wheel, the tall searing metal bow, in sheep wool. Huh. 
This artifact has an image of another artifact. Now, on the item is an image of Nil Flag Judge, the dwarf. Because. <laughs> Not relevant, just also there. Okay, look! Oh, br bronze ballista arrows. They have happened. Things are happening. They're just happening all on top of each other. Um, these are all carpenter. Build these to be deconstructed. That'll happen eventually. In theory. As long as we have... And I didn't restrict uh, gem stuff. Yeah, anyone can do gem stuff. Masterpiece Wombat Leather Armor. Masterpiece Peg Leather Trousers. Perfect. And we're making lavish meals. Look at all this. Look at all this! We're still, we're still being interrupted by owls on the surface, because of course we are. Nighty night! Thanks for hanging out. Things are finally coming together. This is like a full, like a full fortress situation now. Our windmills are all going. Oh, we we'll just have to deal with all, all this junk. But yeah, and look, we're making all these whip vines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, thank you. That's very kind to say. Um, not always easy to feel that way when I don't know. It's hard, hard to know if I'm doing something that anyone's interested in. So it's good to know that some people care to this, about this kind of content. So yeah, anytime. Look at our llamas. Two, three. We have we have four adult llamas. Perfect. So by the time we run through all of the cloth that we accidentally stole, we will be able to, like, continuously produce yarn stuff and wool stuff, and then we'll be fine. And then by then we'll be in the caves, and then we'll catch a giant cave spider. Those are the things that will happen. Someday our, <laughs> someday our stuff will be constructed. Um... I'm against better judgment. I'm going to keep assigning... This is all floor, right? These are the fortification ones. Yeah. I'm going to keep assigning them tasks to perform. And they will happen eventually. Um, we're just going to do fortification straight across. Yeah. Why not? As long as I have enough jet. Jet blocks, jet blocks, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then same thing here. I'm gonna hold off. I'm doing really well, trust me. Aw, oh, thank you. Uh, games, you get low numbers, stick with it. Affiliate soon. Thank you, yeah, that does help. Um, yeah, I know this is a low, a low, uh, a low volume game uh but i love it and yeah had like 10 viewers total earlier today that's kind of ridiculous i didn't think it was that low <laughs> when twitch does their little recommended stuff they're like uh it it predicts me to have you know a certain number of of viewers based on whatever math they have whatever silly math they have and it always says like it predicts me having higher numbers than I have in practice. I'm never like, what part is wrong? Is it, is it the algorithm that's wrong? Is it me that's wrong? Is it, yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah, 10 seems low, but I know it's, I know it's not a very high, high viewership game. Like if I wanted to chase the high viewership games, I would be playing Tears of the Kingdom, but like, I know... I can't just step into that and like expect a whole bunch of people to watch me play a game like that because there's a million people playing it right now. 
and they're all good. <laughs> they're all good at it. Uh, okay, this is happening. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, halfway. And is it you? It's you. Add the spikes. The passion for the game is clear, fits great, long term, it makes more sense. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, yeah, go go to bed, but thank you. That Those are, that are helpful words. Thank you. Uh, Spear Dwarf and Axe Dwarf are training. Look at this. Are you wearing stuff? You aren't wearing stuff. You should probably put on more clothes, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to bed. Bye. Have a good one. Uh, okay, and these got dug. So I'm curious... Um, oh, of course. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, one weird thing about bolts and ammo in general is that if you fire a bolt and it falls one Z level, or at least one Z level, before hitting the ground, then the bolt is not destroyed. So there's a trick where you can put basically a hole in front of your archery targets. So then the bolt comes and, and hits the target and then falls and then falls through the floor and is now fine on the floor. So we'll keep an eye out to see if we can actually see that happen. But in theory, that's a way that you can preserve your bolts. We ha I had it going in the last fortress, so I know it works. Um, we'll, we'll see if I can, <laughs> if in practice it works here. Um, and yeah, clothes are happening. Good, good, good. And people start getting good at making clothes, and people are coming to pick up clothes. Perfect. And then maybe someday people will come sort out all of our crafts. Maybe we hold off on crafts for the moment. Jeez. These are all... Can I pause? I'll just pause it. And I'll have to remember to unpause. I was reviewing a, <laughs> the VOD of, I don't know, last episode or the episode before, when the all the jobs were stuck in the... All the stoneworker jobs got stuck, and I couldn't figure out why. It was because I paused all the things for like two episodes, at least. So, someone remind me that if I'm wondering why the crafts stopped, it's because I stopped them. That's fine. A uh, carpenter is dehydrated. Feb. Um, is that... Who are you? Carpenter, you're just gonna go berserk. Running around babbling. Is that this person here? Yeah. You're not in a squad, you're just hanging out in the barracks. Hungry and dehydrated, this person will be going insane. Shaken, relieving, suffering a major injury. Yeah, we have a very grumpy fortress right now. Ugh. I'm, I mean, we're still midwinter. I want our I want our waterfalls to work. Did these get linked? So this is now linked to both of these. Cool. So now let's see. I mean, we can test this now. Let's go here. No. Not there. Here. Otter. Otter. Water, waterfall, refill, override. So let's pull this one and see if that is able to actually override the uh, the close signal that's coming from the pressure plate. And we will have empty cages soon because we'll drop a whole bunch of people onto spikes. Yeah, okay. Hold. And then we come down here. And it opened. Cool. 
cool, cool. So I'm betting what happens. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and close this one before we flood our fortress. I'm betting what happens is that the pressure plate only sends an open or a closed signal on its own state change. So like it it became zero, like it's still zero, right? So on becoming zero, it sent a closed signal, and then we just sent an open signal. But it's not continuously sending a closed signal. It will only send a new signal once its state changes. I think that's what I'm gathering. Oh, I also learned... I also learned that the bucket is full is fine. That's not broken. That's just how wells work. <laughs> so this, this is actually fine. Um, dug up a, a dug up, uh, googled, and found an old forum post. Um, but apparently, all that means is that the water in there is water in the bucket. But all that means is that the next person who needs to use this well doesn't need to lower the bucket. They could just take from the bucket because it's already full. But the the well is in theory still working. Our mercenary is still here. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's take this opportunity of relative quietness to pick a space for some of the non-necessary spaces, like library and um, some churches. I think we're going to keep most of this level is going to stay tombs and quarry and stuff. I don't know how deep I want to go. We have this level and we have this level. We have a little bit on this level, not a whole lot. I think maybe... Like this level for sure. Like this, this is prime real estate right here. How about we go... We're gonna do, we'll do blueprint so I can keep it going while... Keep the game running while I figure all this out. We can just do something like this. Right? That gives us a lot of room to play with. And what do we want first? I know we want a church. We definitely want a big church. Um, something like this, even. This. See, now that we have all of our, our waterfall junk kind of situated, I know how much room I need so I can avoid it properly. So let's say we have library, temples, guild halls. Those are three main things that we need. Maybe, maybe library, big temple, smaller temples, guild halls? Yeah, let's do something like that. So we'll do, like, do, let's do big temple here and small temples here. That'll give us, get us started. So we'll just kind of a... I mean, I say big temple. Everything in this fortress is going to be smaller, so it doesn't need to be that big. Like, that could be a big temple. I'm going to do something... Make them look nice somehow. Something like that. I don't know. That's a, that's a thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. Ugh. Fine. Let's do it like this. Is that? Is that too ugly? That's a little ugly. Whatever. Let's do... 
let's use our dig tool. How about that? Let's do a little gooey dig. Let's gooey dig. But this can make all sorts of interesting shapes. Um, ellipses, rows, diagonal. Whoop. A weird. Freeform? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's make some... Let's make some circly things. Something like that. Or, no. Ugh, every time. Whoops! One thing that I wish about the tool is that it would default to... Was that what I was just using? No. Okay. Three. Dig. And then this. Auto commit off. Ellipse. And we can do something like that. A little silly looking. And in theory, I can do oops. What's that? Two on each side? Yeah. Maybe let's do that. And then and then I do control C. And then it commits it. That's the smart way to do it. And then over here. That's... Oh, no! Dehydrated. Oh, because you went insane. Okay. Unfortunate, but we were expecting that. Stray Llama. We don't have that many Stray Llamas. Why are you killing the Stray Llamas? Show me the excess Llamas that you are... thinking we have. Two... Two baby alpacas. And we have... We have a. We must have had a third male. We have two breeding pairs. Okay. So I was gonna keep two males, two adult males, and five adult females. Is what it's gonna keep. Um. I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want to increase that? Is that enough? Is that enough llama for for a fortress of our size? I don't actually know. You just fell over dead, didn't you? Spattered with their own blood. Sad. Okay, you're all working busily on clothes. Hopefully the hopefully everyone having clothes will help with the mood as well. That's definitely a big source of bad thoughts, is being naked. Need steel bars, yes, yes. Okay. Jeez. Shearing, yeah. Okay. Um, let's check our this thing. How's upright spikes? Yes. Now are they currently upright? I don't know if they're like if I have to extend them manually or or what? Let's try. Let's let's give it a stoat. Let's give it a test stoat. Come down here, all the honeybees. Um, and all the people that we have in cages right now. The Sasquatches. We have a collection of Sasquatches. Can we tame the Sasquatches? That'd be kind of weird. Um, and of course the... Here we go. Giant stoat. Just do one giant stoat. The idea of taming any, like, semi-intelligent biped is, like, really weird. <laughs> and you're still in here, aren't you? 
if I disassemble it, it's just going to put the cage with the person back in the stockpile. And I wanted to make a wall here. I'll do this. Yeah, that's fine. Still a whole bunch of stuff just sitting in the trade depot. Uh, rat and cave crocodile, that's fine. So right now, the winter seems calmer. I'm trying to keep track of what seasons we're getting all that animal activity, because it does seem to come in waves. Like, there's times where we're getting, like, a new wolf comes on the map as soon as the previous wolf dies, and then we'll go several months without anything happening. So I'm wondering if it's a seasonal thing, and then we can tell our dwarves to station when it becomes an issue, and not when it's not. Your zombie person is leaving. Are you... Is it just ready to leave? Okay. Bye. Oh. What did we just cage? Another Sasquatch. Yay. Um. We... Oh. The wasting zombie. You were fighting the Sasquatch very briefly? Very briefly. Yeah, you were fighting some other stuff before. And yes, we need all sorts more things. This is all going at least. Let's do floor. I want this floor. Rock salt blocks. Oh, look, 97 rock salt blocks. That's good. Oh, look, another wolf. I spoke too soon. See, they're, I guess they're out here. Oh, and you're fighting. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, nice. And then she just immediately left. Cool. I like her. I hope she comes back. See, there's another one. Hmm. It's always wolf season? Yeah, I guess that's true. Wolves have a gigantic range. Why are they... Like, a, a pack of five wolves will control an entire freaking mountainside. I don't know how we're getting this many just wandering around. Look, we're getting all these trees, too. Oh, who... Okay, that was weird. all sorts of leather bags because we're making all sorts of food stuff i bet oh now you're in what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and of course none of these have cages oh that one did good <laughs> speaking of cages let's see did our did our pit happen no, it has not happened. That's the main problem with labor shortages. Is nothing happens. What are you doing? Nothing? That's a baby. That's a baby. Oh, Sasquatch. Oh, were they? Hmm. Are Sasquatches able to climb... Haha, -ha. okay, that's what's happening. They're getting in through here. Because of course, because they can climb up or fly up and just come down this this stairwell. Okay. Here, I'm, here, first of all, lock out the owl person. You do not need to be... Or no. You're a person person. Sarah Book Speechless. So they're, they're a visitor. So you can you can come in. <laughs> That's not the front door, sir. Did you... Are you leaving? You're... Okay, whatever. Um, the Sasquatch, however... Where did that go? You aren't an owl, just a librarian. <laughs> uh, Sasquatch, walking right by our training squad. 
Latin machines, go! Perfect. Thank you. That's how you know that your militia stuff is in the right spot. <laughs> when they can just walk over there and, and take care of a Sasquatch. Uh, needing all of the empty cages, and the hammerman is fighting, but that's fine. Agitated wolf latches on firmly and kills the owl person. Hooray. That's good. Sorry about that. Untamed wilds, where are you going to No, not the cat! Okay. I care about the cats more than I care about... Like, this cat in particular. This cat has been involved with two Sasquatch kills. You're just gonna... We need some real weapon traps here. Of course, I just gave them a whole bunch of metal jobs. Which they're making progress on, to be fair. Actually. So once we're through that, we're gonna be we're gonna be working on weapon traps. <laughs> you just came out. You just came up here and saw the wolf and and took off, didn't you? That makes sense though. Hey Raven. A crow. That one's actually a crow. Uh are, are there there's cages here, right? Okay. I think we'll be fine. As long as no one else comes up right now. Like a cat or something. And there we go. Okay. We're definitely running low on cages. Um, <laughs> just still, still waiting on someone to actually do that. Oh, but you're actually grabbing stuff. From the trade depot. That's good. Um, so what I'm learning is that we probably need traps, like, in here or something, or maybe, like, here. This is kind of the break between inside and defenses, like, fortifications are, are here. So we, we should put just, like, a cage trap. Or two. Uh, let's use the ones that aren't exceptional. We'll save all the, the exceptional ones for for weapon traps. Of course, we don't have cages for these, but we'll get there. Um, and then we could also even do. Like some doors. Doors are good. Everyone likes a door. Uh, great horned owl hammerman. Was oh, that? But you're dead. I just didn't dismiss it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Door Fortress. Agreed. Yeah, this stupid wolf. Hmm. It's even another wolf, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you want to just... I am curious why... This squad... You, we are currently in Obsidian. You should be taking orders of two at a time to defend lower force entrance. I haven't seen them do that. So I'm going to give them a manual defend lower force entrance. Confirm. See if they actually do that. Oh! Yeah, you're... Ugh. Legendary leather worker getting killed by a wolf. I'm 
no one's gonna get there in time. Oh? You gonna save us? No, what are you- you're not even... gathering plants. You're not in a squad. You're gonna let someone die right on the other side of a wall. Be no, not yet. Oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Oh. Whoa. Whoa, you're healthy? Why aren't you in a squad? How did you do that, Nish? Wow. Uh, wolf misses a leather worker. Leather worker scratches, bruising, punches, 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 punches. Wow. Nish. I'm impressed. Do you have any combat abilities? I mean, Legendary Leather Worker, I'm not going to put you in the... Ugh, jeez. Legendary Leather Worker, Skilled Fighter. Why did... Oh, I accidentally gave them the kill order, too. Okay. Let's see if that works. I'm also curious to see if they will actually go inside to defend, or if they end up, like, standing out here and being like, I'm in the fortifications. Turns out the leather worker bit was secondary. I mean, I would, I would love it if every skilled worker was just, like, also kind of good at defending themselves. But now I'm jealous that that person's not going to be in our military. course like I don't want to risk it but it'd almost be better just give them some armor and call it good hey it's spring I want to see the stoat thing work I think that's that's the thing that I want to happen have happen before we stop here I see a sca Sasquatch rolling around. Planter is fighting. Uh, bashes the giant wolf. Is that... That was... Okay. So that's fine. Uh, thread. Pig iron. Cool. Cool, cool. We got a bunch of trees now. Will someone please? I wish I could set the priority on this. Let's just. Are there more that I can toss in? Let's just do 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 do. One of those will get grabbed. Oh, I uh, hope. Our <laughs> poor human bowman. Hmm. Do I need to connect it to a. I don't know. Oh, are we doing it? Are you doing it? Grab the stoat. All in cage. Butcher an animal. You're just... You're just gonna straight up butcher it. How does that work? Is that... Is that allowed? You're just... You're just grabbing from... Is it because auto butcher? Auto butcher is looking at my... My stoats. It's not how I expected that to work. Uh, can I just do... That is enabled. Giant... No, I don't even see... They're not in here. Confuse. And you're taking the whole cage. Are you taking an empty cage? Reveal to me your secrets, Cog. I 
of water. I need a bigger water bottle. It is not a, it is not a three hour water bottle. Basement planes. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> going so much slower than everyone else. Oh, I hope we I want I want the waterfalls. I want the thaw. I want everyone to be getting happy thoughts every time they go down that spiral. It's like the thing I thought of when we first started this fortress. That's the that's been like the image I've had this whole time. It's gonna take a while for everyone to smooth all this stuff too. <laughs> all these flies. All these keats. All the dogs. Look at all those puppies. Yeah, you're just straight up hauling this cage. And then who, what's, <laughs> of course, there's a bunch of stuff in here still. Uh, large cage. <laughs> a llama. So what animal are you butchering? Giant stoke corpse. Oh, is it because there was a corpse in a cage? That could make sense. Are you able to figure this out? <laughs> Can you... I'm surprised that they took the whole cage and not just, like, the corpse out of the cage. Yeah, so now there's... I don't know, more giant stoat stuff. Now, are you taking the cage? No. Now, where's the cage? There's the cage. So now it's just a cage. And now someone's gonna come grab the cage. Okay. That's cool. Uh, giant stoat is fighting. Is that the one that fell? It fell! Excellent. Okay, so now... Giant stoat's upper body takes the full force of the impact. Looking to see... If our spikes are doing anything. The menacing bronze spike strikes the goat giant strikes the giant stoat in the upper body tearing the muscle and tearing the liver perfect yeah just got murdered by the spikes no longer stunned i bet <laughs> okay cool so i think i think we can toss a bunch in and so long as they don't screw up the actual handling of the stoat part, I think we have made a very lethal trap for ourselves. Which is good. All the flying things are going to be a little trickier, but... Uh, we'll... Reclaim some of our cages like this, at least. Like the lynx people? We'll, we'll toss all those two in. Like the, the sasquatches? I think those will splat real good. Sass splat. Something. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's... We'll start with that. That's plenty. But yeah. We need a lot of leather bags. Let's make sure that we're not making too many leather bags here. Where are those going? Those go in your furniture? I am thinking, I think we are going to expand our storage situation. Cause this, I'm going to leave this level alone. I mean, we could expand out this way even. Of course, that's all furniture. I 
did something like that. Give us a bit more room. And currently, the only way into our stockpiles is through these workshops, essentially. I've been debating if that's the way that I ultimately want it to be. Is the main the main concern the main reason I wouldn't you know connect through here or something you know just make a hallway coming through here so that people can come to the stockpile from like directly from the center is because if I connect those we'll have stairwells you know we'll have the up and down through here but we'll also have an up and down that'll connect like these four levels which is half the dang fortress this is not a very tall fortress so that means that anyone, you know, here, let's, let's say I had a, a hallway here, someone in the bedroom could go in to the stockpile and then go up and then be here, and they'd circumvent my whole fancy middle bit. Which is fine from a, uh, you know, movement perspective. That pro would probably be the shorter path because they wouldn't be spiraling around a little pinwheel in the middle. But it would... They, they would be avoiding the place that I want them to go to. Like, I'm trying really hard to make sure that they have to go through this center spiral frequently, like for every single job that they take. You want to go to bed? You got to go through a waterfall. You got to. You want to go to the dining hall? You got to go to the waterfall. You want to pick up a bed and move it to a bedroom? You got to walk through a waterfall twice. There and back again. I, I want to be ruthless with how many waterfalls we're, we're exposing our people to. For for reasons. Like, look, we, they need them. <laughs> we, we, need, uh, we need to be making our people happy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the reason of, of what's going on here. I do wonder if I can just retrofit these existing up stairways. do because I would want to do like that does that what does that do that turns that into a it's currently an upward stairway oh I'm doing blueprints so that's not gonna help anything do that yeah so then that will turn it into an up down stairway or if I do it like this does that that's, that's not going to do it. I need, you need to do it like this. Yeah, okay. Awkward, but I get it. And then here, yeah, we can do... Yeah, well... Yeah, why not? We'll go here. And we don't need to be paused for this. And here. Is that? There's no... There's not one there. Okay, so I need to build a... <laughs> Oop. And then... Construct... Stairs. Of course, that's not gonna... Hmm. Always just a little awkward. So we'll do that, and then we'll have to do the same thing. We'll add the downstair. Like that. And then, yeah. Um, won't worry about those things being too close. All like this. Perfect. Well, in 
we'll probably do like down here will be like the rocks. Of course, the rocks are the heavy thing, so that's you kind of want them closer, maybe. How do we do this? I think that'll be fine. We'll we'll figure it out. Um, what's this? This is our finished goods. Is this? I think what we should do, since the way we have it set up right now is if they want to take an earring from this stockpile and put it somewhere, they would need to go through our spiral and they would come up to here and it would be here. And that's not that far, really speaking. But maybe what we do... So we allow those things to be here. Receptors, totems, yeah. And we will set this to give. Here. Maybe that'll help them keep the workshops a little bit more clear. Uh, giant stoats are fighting. Yes. Left eye tooth takes the full force of the impact. Gives into pain. Yeah. No survivors. Perfect. That's what I want to see. <laughs> the cheese has been completed. I'll say. <laughs> Okay, we're freeing up some cages. Um, and we're not even having to fight things in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's great. Um, let's add some doors. Doors are good. have a bunch of logs and instruments oh yeah our uh, that's right in addition to digging all of that which they will work on at some point um, I didn't actually tell them to do anything here maybe this will be I'll do some plans off stream for this we'll start digging it uh, this whole level next stream needs millable unrotten plant wow Has grown to become a dwarven child, so it was a baby. No, it happened there, but they're not there anymore. <laughs> uh, I want to see the waterfalls, but it's gonna be a minute. Also, all these corpses everywhere still. This stack is getting smaller, that's good. This is getting built. Oh, this is done. Wow. And this is all, that's block floor. So I, I want to do floor layers too. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Must be rock salt. And then we want some fortifications. Go like this. Leather worker taken by a fey mood. Cool. Sasquatch in the courtyard. They. I feel like they can just climb. We need to make our wall taller. And look, they didn't. They have not shown up here. Okay. Hmm. Improvements to be made there. However. You, please, kill the Sasquatch. I guess in theory I can tell both squads to do that now that they actually, uh... 
have ammo, in theory. Well, the Sasquatch is leaving. Sounds like a job for roofing. Yeah, but that if I roof over the whole courtyard, we won't have trees. Or we'd have to make a really tall roof. You want to do like a whole indoor um, arboretum situation? That could be cool. What if we made a glass roof? What if we turn this whole thing into a greenhouse? Dead Sasquatch. Good, thank you. What if we went like up like 10 levels and then across the whole thing and just made a giant glass dome, but it was a cube instead? Hmm. So once again, I want to make a glass big project in a map without sand. <laughs> Smrat. That's kind of a cool idea, though. Also do a single layer of roof around the outer layer. Oh, like an overhang? Like put a roof over here? That might actually work. Planter found dead. What happened to you? Id. Planter Id is fighting. Sasquatch. You were... We've lost people. Where did the other one... We've lost two people. You had a steel shield. And a bronze warhammer. And lost. Or was that like way ago? The great horn owl. Okay, this was an owl. This was an owl's doing. People are giving birth. Wow. Our population goals for this fortress are so are low enough that like births and dwarves becoming adults might actually be a viable way to maintain our numbers. It doesn't usually happen in a, like a 200 person fort. Why did you die? Giant stoat is fighting. Are you... You made it in? Okay. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of rotting stuff in here. That's fine, though. And there's, there's got a, there's, there's owls up here. Yeah. Oh, see, they can just get in. <laughs> Tired, injured. Well, you don't need to be here. Now they're fighting on the stairs. Other worker has created Iskil Oshash, a leather chasse. Is that a... I've heard of chasse's sizz. It's a singular. Uh, we can look at it this way. The intricacy of hermits. Encircled with bands of turkey leather, menaces with spikes of turkey leather, and birch. That's a boot. Yeah. Okay. Cool, thanks. So, owls in the spring. You're all getting there a very silly way. Don't you have to go... You're all gonna climb? What was your intention here? Can they not... It's like they can't path through here. I'm really curious about that. We might have to do a, do a new a new way for them to get up. Which means this doesn't work, does it? Hmm. Oh, did you get him? Is it dead? Uh, an owl corpse. Okay, good. Good. You can all go home now. See, they can. Oh, 
Oh, but not... Maybe not through here. Hmm. They can go through here. Anyway, we need to make this indoors, don't we? Um, let's do... Yeah, this will be wall. So they can't climb past the roof bit, but the trees get all the sunshine they want. Yeah, that might work. I don't think they can do overhangs like that. Um, one thing that I'm, I'm definitely wanting to do is do a floor. Like we'll, we'll put a layer of fortifications on the second level, and then we can put just a, a line. Um, or... Can I just build... Are you all okay? Okay. Um, there's definitely... There's more owls, aren't there? Yes, uh, yep, okay. They're just out there. Stoats are fighting, okay. Uh, punches the stoat, yeah, yeah. When we're digging stuff, that's a good sign. Um, but what if I could just do... Can I do fortifications too close to edge? Oh, that's going to be the thing. The wall is already as close to the edge of the map as I can build. Unless floor is different. Floor is different. That's weird. Um, so yeah, that's that's potentially an option. One thing I definitely want to do is I want to do floor um, along the inside, and then we'll put fortifications here, so that we can just have like a traditional kind of a castle wall situation. We could we could have we could set up a patrol so that our crossbow dwarves are patrolling the walkway, like the catwalk essentially and just patrolling around, and they'd be behind fortifications. And then whenever there's a wolf down here, they can just go and shoot at the wolf and... Oh, jeez. And the owls. And if they... Even if they don't kill it, I think they can... Encourage them to leave. So migrants have arrived despite the danger. Excellent. Where are they? Here we go. Two people and a yak? Accomplished metal crafter? Talented herbalist? A... cavey pup? Uh, adequate lie maker? Who are you? Water buffalo. Cool. That was a decent one. Wood crafter? Talented miller? Or millin? And, a, and a, an alpaca. Look at all these people. An adequate metal crafter. I was in a snowstorm. It made me so grouchy. I was in a blizzard. It's annoying. High master animal caretaker. We're not training anything, are we? Oh, are we just going to get right back up to 50? Talented cook. Competent leather worker. All these alpacas. A petition. A temple and a priest. Oh. The Denomination of Whispering. Is it, That's the church from our last place. Pretty sure. Yeah. But we're, we're definitely going to make a... Uh, definitely going to make a church. They must... I wonder how many of them came from Elder Ring. Uh, Oak and Metal. No, that's a different place. Uh, Oggy Company. Yeah, Denomination of Whispering. That's gotta be... I'm pretty sure that's the religion that was, like, our main religion in our last fortress. 
Um, you. Dip to ceiling, don't make sure where they're gonna find it. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, well. Cool, we're up to, what, 44 again? Perfect. Some of you are gonna be soldiers. Hope you're okay with that. You can make it inside past the owls. I will hand you an axe. <laughs> uh, oh, and the Foggy Company of Farmers Guild has been established. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming together. And here's all that. We're definitely gonna want a roof here. Um, this is on the floor. Can I build a stair on the floor? Do that. Well, I don't. I don't want to do it that way. I want to be able to. I want to be able to close it. Welcome inside. Have some trauma and an X. Yeah. <laughs> In that order. Oh, these owls. And look, they're all like running around grabbing stuff because now we have the labor available to do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's happened. We've reached the part where this is a thing, but our caves are all closed, so. Uh, Forgotten Beast, Oxa Cooler Simo, Horde Bora, Gigantic Three Eyed Serpent. It has a broad shell and it appears to be emaciated. Amethyst scales are blocking set far apart, but where it's deadly blood. Okay. So pretty mediocre as far as Forgotten Beast go. This is all the way down in Cave 2, even. So it's just going to be chilling here for a while. I don't think I've seen more than a handful of critters down here at all. So it's just going to hang out down here now. There's just a there's just a snake in cave two now. Beware. Yeah, look, all this is getting taken care of. A whole bunch more trees all around. Um, oh, I should definitely bring some of those critters. Alpaca, alpaca. Water buffalo. Our grazers. Yes, I think. Okay, I think we're good. Um, okay, need plant cloth. We have plant cloth. That must be, uh... No, this is all... Oh, maybe we're out of cloth. This is all silk and wool. Okay. Wow, we went through our cloth. Wow. Which makes sense. We're not... Not making more. Those cowish types are. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Um, look at all these bones. Llama bones. Give me a whole other season until we thaw. What are you doing? Picking up equipment. I have no shoes, I'm embarrassed. Are you... what are you trying to grab here? Something was being silly for that dwarf. Um... <laughs> okay. How are we doing this? I want I want you to be able to put a roof on here. I guess we can do a hatch and then just close the like lock the hatch. You all I just yeah. I can see it. Hmm. I'm <laughs> just running around like mad. Ugh. You dorks. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it like this. Let's do a stair. 
like this. That's going to be a temporary. Um, I will make it out of those. And we will use that as our access to build a floor up here. I don't think it's going to want me... Yeah, no access. Okay, so I have to build the thing before I can assign the thing, but that's fine. And this is fortification. Oh, nope, down here. This is fortification. With jet blocks. There. And then when we eventually make a, a walkway along our our fortifications along the outside here, then this will be the access that they use to get up here as well. And then we'll probably need to, we'll like, go across here as well. Maybe this turns into a walkway, and then they can go across in, in both directions. But for right now, being able to stand up here and shoot down at the, the stupid walls, that's the main thing. And then, oh, we could build a stairwell down. That's what we do. That's what we do. Let's take this one and remove it. And then that will become our stairwell. That's going to be our access down here. Instead of this. We'll just close that off. Much better. Guild hall for Farmer's Guild, yes. We can do that. Okay, so we have a we have a, a church request and a guild hall request. I will assign all those dig halt those digging orders off screen or off stream. That's the word. God. And we'll cancel all the clothing orders. We I mean I assume we made a bunch of clothing though. We went through a bunch of this. Except for the Jeez. Um so I'm going to turn off uh, control panel, auto clothing. I'm just going to disable it for the moment and remove these. Alt cap, yes. Or was that the right one? Yeah. and glove. We'll basically reduplicate that with silk and yarn. Mostly yarn. Because yarn we can actually make. And probably in decent quantities now. I guess we'll, we'll see what our, our throughput on all that is, but we have a, a sizable number of critters now. Plus all those stoats, did we... How's all... I assume we have pitted the things that I have assigned to the pit. Yeah. Um, so maybe we'll have them come in and <laughs> clean up the corpses? You know. It's mostly skeletons at this point. Actually, you know what? They're just gonna... I'm just gonna let them keep rotting. I don't care. I don't care. We don't need more stoat kidney. Um, okay, so then you are all critters that I care about. These things fly. Sasquatch can go in. Dingo people can go in. Oh, bear. Oh, jeez. Wolf people. Let's hold off on some of the scary stuff. Giant lynx. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, some of these can fly, which is great. Agitated Lynx Man, Sasquatch, S Agitated Sasquatch. <laughs> Hopefully, let's let's start with that. And of course, the stupid human. 
is still in the cage, isn't he? Yes. Seriously injured. Self-pity after being confined. <laughs> um, well... I'm gonna try it again. Uh, let's find our human cage. Can I just search for human? Nope. I cannot. Human cage. Okay. Try again. Uh, Sasquatch is fighting. Okay, well, it's spring. We're getting there. Okay, now that was done. Instruct for me. The water hasn't thawed yet, of course. Two stairs here. And this can be whatever, rock salt. And then now we have a roof. And I can do a floor. Or no, we have a, a stairway up here at least. Do this. Oh, what do you mean no access? Oh, because I, I don't think they can actually walk across the tops of fortifications. I think you need to do... Uh, I think I actually need to put a floor on top of a fortification for it to be passable. I'll do like this. Oh, ah, oh, Stonecutter found it. Hooray. There we go. Oh, jeez, we don't even have enough rock salt. Jeez. Like, half. Oh. Then here for sure as well. Corpse. Yeah. That was the Sasquatch, wasn't it? Other squads. Done. Three, four. Okay. Oh, you dorks. You probably need more tombs, right? Not slabs. Sasquatch is fighting. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay. Well, who are you? Or do you have anything? Go to our tree practice with your lack of bolts. You're a mechanic. And you're a leather worker. Kill. Kill Sasquatch. Here comes someone with a crossbow. Do you have ammo? No, you just ran into melee. You just ran into melee. People. Do we seriously have three Mark Dwarves in melee with the Sasquatch right now? Yup. Oh. You had bulls before. You figured it out. Here comes an axe. There. See? It's not so bad when you have a freaking weapon. Okay. Okay. So... Yeah. 
we're getting there. I know I went long here. I'm, I just want I just want to see the waterfalls working. That's really all it is. That's all. It's all open. Just waiting for the water. How's our smoothing going? Did we no? Barely begun. Someone, <laughs> someone has half a room smooth. Um, then troll. Oh, forgotten bees is fighting a troll. Cool. Needs copper. Needs jet. Oh, we're gonna need more jet, aren't we? We're definitely gonna need more jet. We're gonna have to find another another layer to quarry out. That's fine, right? Not that, that will be much jet, but that'll that'll help. We could even do something like that. Um, and then I want to turn these into tombs. Coffin rejected, not enclosed. And you know, all the other ones were fine. Because I can't do multi. That's right. Okay. Well. I desire a elite squad of military dwarves that can keep us safe without me having to put half the fortress in the military. We'll see if we can get them trained and equipped and get our defenses in a way that facilitate that. We're getting closer. We, I mean, we lost a lot fewer people than last stream. We had, we had positive population growth in this stream, so that's good. Not quite back up to our cap yet, but I think we'll get there. It's looking to be weird. Yeah, that... Dingo people are fighting, but they're just fighting the ground because they're falling on it. Perfect. Okay, you. Unassigned. Now, can someone please let out this human? You know, there's a lot of work to be done. We would probably prefer not to starve to death. Stray Llama has given birth to a baby llama! Perfect. Um, and then our, our metal stocks here. We're, we're low on jet. This is this is marble, isn't it? We probably need to... Yeah, we need to... We need to quarry more marble, but that at least we have access to. That's not too bad. Yeah, here. So there's a whole bunch of tetrahedrite down here, even. This is all marble. All tetrahedrite, and then like there's more marble down here. Llamas have given birth to a dragon. Nah. <laughs> is it is it a tame dragon? Oh, how about that for a workshop mod? Instead of animals giving birth to what they are, what if it was like a Pokemon hatchery where it was like. Something popped out. <laughs> you put in a yak and a llama, and you got a snake. 
Congratulations. Look at all these trees. Oh, there's like, we got larch in here now. You can even safely chop some of them. Wow. More larch. Cool. We're at the point now where I might just leave like the high woods. I want to see some high woods get big. Probably leave some. I want to leave some high woods. Of course, now I don't see any. What are you doing? Gather plants. Um. Okay. And this this worked. Okay. And then they're working on the roof there. Perfect. And I probably don't have enough. I'm just three short of the rock salt blocks. Let's just do this. There. Perfect. We will be enclosed. Which means... So we have this this burrow. Um, so I'm actually going to say instead of lower fort entrance, this is just uh, gate house. That's what it is. And then it will now include all of this. It'll include this and this. And now. When I tell my Mark Storves to defend the gatehouse, they should come up here, or in here, and do it. I'm just gonna straight up put a floor here. Sure, whatever. Whoop, there's the thaw! Here comes the water. Okay. Moment of truth. Kind of. Mostly know what's going to happen here. Just want to make sure it actually works in practice. <laughs> okay, and then this serves as like a stop. Like if the water can't... Water can't go backwards through a pump. Which is good. In theory, there's could be mist and stuff. There's some. Yeah, look, it fills a whole corridor now. Excellent. I think I have done it. I want to make sure that the 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 pressure plate thing works. But if this works, then it works. This will make our dwarves so happy. Between this and the clothes. I wish it was like permanent mist. Yeah, look. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like, look. Just saw you walk through it. Uh, re relieved being near a waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all waterfall now. Now, okay. So it's three. I think four. It's either four or five. Should trigger a close. I guess we'll we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Of course, we can we can close it manually if we need to, but I would like to not need to. Yeah, even like my stupid construction like reduced the flow of the river. I hope it works. Um. Uh, 
Where'd it go? Here it is. I wish I could see... I wish I could inspect it after it was made. Might need to be up to five for it to actually switch... switch itself. I just can't remember what I, what I actually set it to. There was a five. I don't know if it visually changes. I don't know if it's gonna get there. It's about like... Oh. Oh man, look at all that. Oh, perfect. This is way better. This is definitely how you do it. Yeah, look at all that. I saw a five. Okay, so it's it's filling. I think it will. Okay. I think once it's like solidly five. And just hope that that's not too much water. Unless it just don't work that way. It is like <laughs> six, four, six, four. Yeah, I hope that's not too much water. Um, well, it's, it's pumping as fast as it can. Yeah. Okay. Definitely not flooding. There, okay. Five and six. There's a four. Uh, oh. Combat is happening. Because of course it is. Markstorf. Why is the owl inside? Because I haven't closed this off entirely yet. Really? You have ammo? I guess I should... Oh, you actually have ammo. Yeah. Confirm. But, proof of concept. There's, there's four people in here. Defending, defending our little fortification structure. Just need to make sure the owls can't get inside. Jeez. For real? Of course, they all came out to the outside. That doesn't help. You can't melee from out here. Well, it is unconscious, so... Oh, human caravan. Uh, should I open my... My thing? Did we actually... No, we still have... <laughs> All of our instruments are still here. Probably not all of them. Um... Well, I didn't get a... Your... They have bypassed your inaccessible site, so I don't think they brought a wagon. Please kill the owl. Please kill owl. Anyone want to help? Jeez. How is it so hardy? Are you actually... Are you actually shooting at it? Or are you all just standing around it and hitting it with loaded crossbows? Only one person has... Only one of you has ammo. And you don't appear to be using it. How about this? You defend the gatehouse. Maybe that'll tell him to go inside. Yeah. Okay. And this is all this is all getting going. Um, I do want to put we'll put a hatch here. And just permanently lock it. I think that's the solution. It's six, of course. Okay, it's dead. Perfect. And then... 
waterfalls. It closed! It closed! Perfect. So is it now like... Yeah. Oh, did I do it? Did it work? I think we just have... I think we just have waterfalls now. Look at this. Okay, now take note of where our our grumpiness is. We have six very grumpy people and only one very happy person. I want to see those numbers change. Especially between that and all the clothing. Like, there's still a whole bunch of clothing just sitting here. No one should be naked. If anyone is naked, it's not my fault. And they all have access to infinite waterfalls. I don't know where that llama was. We butchering llamas? Something? Or alpaca? Yeah, okay. Cool, I'm very happy. Look at that. It just, yeah, no, so that that makes a huge difference. Like, just it being here, it didn't, it just filled like the one adjacent square, but it being here, it fills up the whole freaking hallway. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I'm assuming that's all. No, there's there's more stuff going on up here, of course. There's a llama cage. Is that from the <laughs> the traders? Are they Okay, they're here. Um we will have to trade with them. Our trade goods are still just everywhere. That's fine. Look at all these critters. All these bees. Okay. I mean, we're we're mid combat with. There's an owl. Um, and that's a bunch of dwarf teeth. You all uh, go kill. Confirm. Um, and then Mark's dwarves, I'm gonna tell them to stop for the moment, and then we'll integrate defending this burrow into their, uh, into their schedule. And hopefully that encourages them to, uh, okay, good. Actually carry bolts with them. Okay. I've gone long enough gone on long enough here. I I accomplished the things I meant to accomplish. I'm very happy with our waterfall situation. Um, that appears to be working flawlessly. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, like even, like worst case, it, it has a drain. We're not going to be flooding our fortress with it. It has an override so I can close it and, and, and retrofit anything inside it if I need to. But it's not killing anyone. People are walking through waterfalls. Many waterfalls. Like, I'm, I'm hoping for, like, waterfall saturation. I'm hoping everyone has a waterfall thought for every season, and they remember it, and they're happy, and everything's great. Yeah. So, so, looking forward to that. I'm really interested to see how that actually, like, has an impact on, on what happens. Um... Because yeah, that's that's cool, and now and I'm also really interested to see how our 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 pressure plate thing works in practice. Like, we were we were filling it from empty just there, um, and it seemed to work just fine. But I'm really curious if it can just top itself up, top itself up when it needs to. And obviously, it only can during the summer, so it'll it'll be all nice and automated for a season, and then we'll just have to hope that that's enough water to get us through the winter, basically. And that it doesn't all dry up. So that, maybe that's the thing that we're really looking out for. But we can also like make our reservoir bigger if we really need to. If it's just a matter of having more water down there, that's a fixable problem. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but then next stream, we're been, we're gonna dive into libraries and uh, temples and guild halls and 
more more fortifications for up there. I, I do want to build that wall all the way around the outside and then have, have our crossbow dwarves patrolling and just being out there and keeping an eye on things. Um, I think that'll that'll encourage the, the wolves to stay outside, I think. Because they, they're skittish. They run away from things. I just want them to run out and <laughs> not have dwarves chase them. That's all you really need. So yeah, um, that's it for today. More Sekiro on Saturday, more Dwarf Fortress on Monday, Combine on Thursday for something special. And yeah, click the buttons. You know where they are. And stay kind. <laughs>